Caesar Studios of 99.1 The Sports Animal. Here are a couple of guys with over 30 years of combined knowledge of Tennessee sports. Here's Josh and Swain. Josh and Swain, thanks for being with us today. We are very excited to be with you for the next three hours. We have a lot to cover. Yes, sir. Tennessee football with a week and a half to go, 10 days to go until the orange and white game. So the final sprint coming up in spring practice, scrimmage action coming up tomorrow. We'll talk Tennessee football today. It's kind of uh, catch you up on what's going on in the world of Tennessee football probably today and over the next few days because there's been so much attention on Tennessee basketball for obvious reasons with the Vols run to the Elite Eight and the last couple days spending time talking about what happened on Sunday and reflecting on the season. There is the ongoing search for a new Lady Vols basketball coach which is taking a lot of the attention. Baseball season is underway. Softball season. Both teams in conference play. Both teams doing well so far. So there's a lot happening which is a good thing but that's kind of split up a lot of the conversation here over the last few days and last few weeks while Tennessee football has been going about its business. I'm sure Josh Heupel's fine with that. He likes to work in silence. Yeah. You know, he doesn't need all the attention on him. He just wants to put his head down, work. He just wants to coach football. That's that's Heupel. They don't care, really care about anything else. Just coaching ball. So the saying, real G's move in silence like lasagna? Does that apply here? It does. It does apply here. I'm just imagining Josh Heupel is a, is a G. <laughs> he was when he was throwing the horns down as a quarterback. Maybe. He was when he was throwing some, having his quarterbacks throw some bombs in the fourth quarter of some games in the SEC, or dialing up five touchdowns for Jalen Hyatt in the Alabama game in 2022. Oh, that happened so long ago. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> You're on to 2024, like Bill Belichick. <laughs> On the 24. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Give me a picture of Hypo with that quote underneath. That's all I need right there. Okay. So but, yeah, he, he, he prefers right now, not a lot of headlines, not a lot mm-hmm. of people talking about uh, his football team. This time of the year, people are talking talking about your football team. Either like you're really, really, really good, or you are dealing with arrest. Players on your team getting arrested and having run-ins with the law. I do think because the basketball season is now over, and that's still getting some talk. But I think after you go through the end of season grieving period, it's natural to say, okay, well. What's next or what else? And for Tennessee fans right now, you can do that with a positive mindset. And so I think it's very natural right now, and I think it's happening. I think we're starting to see that shift of, oh, yeah, we got Nico. Oh, yeah, this offense. Yeah, there, There's talk. I, you know, we're hearing maybe they won't have the same numbers. Maybe it's not going to be 49 points per game. Yeah, but this yeah, offense 48. could be like <laughs> – this yeah. offense is going to be like – 2022 and the memories of that season are fond for Tennessee fans so I I think that's starting to come back out that's part of what's maybe helping the transition out of the end of the basketball season I think that's certainly the goal is to have offense like like 22 and then have a defense that was like 23 but better and more dynamic you know in the secondary and being able to create pressure while staying a little bit closer to your man in the back end. So, like, this is Josh Heupel's fourth season. You have your quarterback that you have worked so hard to, to get and worked so hard to protect his freshman year. I mean, you didn't throw him out there when maybe you could have. 
several times during the season. Um, I mean, you could have you could have started him. I mean, you could have put him in. You could have had a two quarterback rotation, but you didn't do that. So you protected him in his freshman year with hopes that it was going to be beneficial for his overall development long term. And um, here we go, man. You're hearing his teammates really buying into him and following him. And now it's about going out there and putting up those results. Tell me if I'm wrong. I, I think there were a few. <laughs> you, you won't hesitate if you need to. There were a few objectives for Nico in the Citrus Bowl, making his first career start. Objectives from the mindset of the coaching staff, the yep. program as a whole. Yep. One, let's see how he does. His first opportunity. Let's see how he responds to a good defense, what they're going to try to do. And let's get him out of there healthy. That was it. That was. That they was... did all of that. And then they. What about the winning part? Sure, they wanted to win the game. Oh, okay. I, I think if. Uh, if those parts all came together, they felt good about their chances to win. And the results backed that up. And then he probably maybe even exceeded what they hoped or expected with his first career start in some ways, the playmaking around the red zone. But then from there, they were able to say, okay, let's go put in some work on the offensive line because we do have some guys coming back, but we need some help to come in. There's Lance Hurd at left tackle to go with John Campbell Jr., one of the returning offensive linemen moving over to the right side. Left guard is still a question. The depth is still a question. But they came out of the bowl game saying, well, the offensive line's got to be better than that for Nico for the upcoming season. Well, I mean, that was the reason why 2022 was successful. I mean, talk about Henning Hooker. You can talk about Jalen Hyatt. Uh, you can mention the running game. Like, but the offensive line was the reason why the 22 team exceeded expectations. So you can have a really good quarterback. You can have a, a lot of receivers. You can have experience coming back at offensive line. But it's about those guys producing. It's about those guys staying healthy and keeping Nico clean as much as possible. You're saying a top 10 pick at right tackle and is he a Fifth, six-year senior, Jerome Carvin at left guard, that they were important? Very important. For the 22 success? Yeah, offensive line was, was the reason why the team did what they did that year. It's offensive line, man. You're right. Offensive line. So, just a couple guys that was part of that group that uh, that's here, and you're trying to recreate that magic. If you are Kay Mays and Javante Spragans, I mean, you got to let these other guys know – what that group did and what is it, what it took to be able to duplicate the same type of – what it takes to be able to duplicate the same type of results. Lance Hurd is a transfer, but he is a fellow five-star prospect yeah. from the 2023 class with Nico. He went through the same recruiting cycle as Nico. Lance just signed with LSU and then transferred to Tennessee after a year. Yeah. Nico obviously signing with Tennessee. So they, they went through the recruiting process at the same time. We're familiar with each other because you know, five stars know about five stars now a lot more than back in your day. Back in my day. Oh, man. Thanks a lot, Josh. You got to show up to an end-of-season All-American banquet and see film of, they, of they, players to find out who they are. Yeah, they know about each other. But I think at the same time, like good players want to play with other good players too because I think it takes pressure off of you. And I think they understand that. Like it's – if you're a really good player, uh, you want to play with other good players because you don't want to do everything. Like if you're coming from, you know, high school program, you're you're used to having to be the guy all the time, and man, that can that can wear on you. Mm -hmm. now, physically, that can wear on you. You, like, you want to be a part of a, a group that allows you to shine. Not everyone is gearing to stop you or the scout report is revolved around you and if they stop you the team wins no you have to worry about the other guy on the side too and so you want to play with other good players man like that's that's that is the key when you're recruiting is um, acquiring really good players to play with each other developing them and getting them to buy into the team concept they're not the same uh, class. They Team. they come in as two high schoolers and a transfer, but can Matthews, Staley, and Brazel be 
Swain, Meacham, and nope. Smith? Nope. Okay. Mm-mm. They cannot. Okay. They got to do some work. They got to put some work in to do that. Well, that's why I'm saying can they be, not are they. Can they be? Mm-mm. They'll either be better or they'll be worse. They won't be. They won't be us. Okay. And hopefully they are better. I really hope they're better. But they, they won't be able to be. Well, now, how could that be? They'll, they have a system to be better. <laughs> that's a, that helps, right? Man, they got a quarterback that can help them be better. That's for sure. The potential is there. All it right. is. We'll continue the conversation. You'll hear John Campbell Jr. coming back. Not on the left side. He's on the right side to welcome in Lance Hurd. Left side. Strong side. John Campbell Jr. also talking about the new quarterback taking over. Nico, you can join us. Call or text in at 865-656-9900. How about me dropping a little Wayne quote in segment number one? I've been labeled by you a Wayne hater at times on this show. I don't think I called you a Wayne hater. You just didn't it's been more implied. give him the necessary respect and props that he deserved. Okay. Just saying. I don't think you're a hater. Okay. But that was a good reference, though. Good job by you. We're setting uh, Proud of you. setting the record straight on the show today, and we invite you to join us along the way. 865-656-9900 next to VFL and former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain. I'm Josh Ward. We continue on Josh and Swain. Caller 5 right now. 656 wins. Qualifies for the Hoop D Madness prize pack. You could be the winner of two tickets to the 2024 Wells Fargo Championship and $1,000 to cover travel costs. Hoop D swag, including two paddle boards, a cooler, cornhole boards, and a patio umbrella. That's Caller 5 right now. 656 9467. For the love of Tennessee at dawn. For the love of the fight. For the love of having nowhere else you'd rather be. For the love of Tennessee. Travel safe. Brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development, the Tennessee Association of Broadcasters, and this station. Golf season is here, and an eagle awaits you at Sevierville Golf Club. The very best golf in the beautiful Smoky Mountains is ready for you. Two 18-hole championship courses with breathtaking views, unique layouts, and pristine enough to be named the best-maintained public golf course in all of Tennessee. All of this makes for a round of golf you won't soon forget. So challenge your game with all the elements of rolling hills, water, sand, and quick greens. Visit SeviervilleGolfClub.com to book your tee time or to learn more about memberships. Sevierville Golf Club, an eagle awaits you. Ah, spring. It's time to open up the house and let in the fresh air and sunshine, unless your windows are foggy (sighs) and you can't see out of them if they're foggy. They're no longer energy efficient, too. Let InstiGlass restore your windows and doors before the summer heat strikes. InstiGlass can have crystal clear glass installed fast. Get glass fast by calling InstiGlass at 865-567-4555. I-N-S-T-I-Glass.com. Hey, Knoxville, starting May 9th, you can fly nonstop to New Haven, Connecticut with Avello Airlines. With Avello, you can say goodbye to layovers and hello to hassle-free travel with everyday low fares, reliable service, and no change or cancel fees. Book your trip today at AvelloAir.com and get ready to say hello to Avello. That's A-V-E-L-O-A-I-R.com. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Frazier with Frazier's Carpet One, and we're having a gargantuan grand reopening sale. Frazier's, 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 I like your style. Carol and I are excited to announce our grand reopening. Frazier's has just renovated our entire flooring showroom and is celebrating with gargantuan savings. Come see Frazier's fabulous new showroom, introducing an entirely new way to buy flooring with cloud-based room visualizers and in-store video imaging. Not to mention gorgeous new displays of carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl, high-density laminate, and more. Plus, no money down and free financing for 18 months. If you're even thinking about new flooring, now is the time to call Frazier's at 546-4850. And we'll come to you with free in-home estimates, 
free in-home shopping, and free in-home design consultation. Wow, these bank fees are flat out ridiculous. And forget about trying to get a car or home loan. So, uh, do you do your banking with, Sharon? Me? I don't. You don't use a bank? No. So what do you like, save your money under a mattress? Bury it in the backyard? Or maybe you borrow from some rich relative when you need a loan? No, n- nothing like that. I do credit unioning. Wait, what? Credit unioning? What the heck's up? It's kind of like banking, but so much better. Especially if you use Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union. Shopping for an auto loan? Shopping for a vehicle is easy the ATFCU way. Talk to Alcoa 10 before you shop so you can hit the lots with a same-day pre-approved loan. And you can get behind the wheel of that new or used car or truck. Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union, the clear choice. Your less red tape banking alternative. Go to atfcu.com for details. Member NCUA and Equal Housing Lender. Fair, honest sports conversation from two guys that define credibility. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can follow on social media. Connect with us. Send us a message anytime you like at Josh and Swain. You can join us by calling or texting 865-656-9900. A good Tennessee football-related question from the text box that we'll get to in just a moment. Also, Kwame texted in and said, Josh, no, you weren't allowed to drop the Wayne quote last segment. Anyone's allowed. I'm banned? Yeah, you can't, you can't ban somebody from dropping a good Wayne quote. That's not fair. I agree. Yeah, man. Not fair at all. Don't be banning Josh. Let Josh, let Josh live out here. <laughs> let Josh breathe. Thank you. What else is on the text box? What else you got there? Well, um. Some good stuff? Yeah, we have a, a good question I want to get to in a moment. Uh, before that, quickly, John Campbell Jr. has moved from left to right tackle. Mm-hmm. Last year he started as a newcomer mm-hmm. with Joe Milton, the third at quarterback. Now Nico's taken over. The early impressions from John Campbell Jr., who didn't play in the bowl game, so he will, on August 31st, make his first start with Nico as the starting quarterback, but they're practicing together now. John Campbell Jr., on what he has seen from Tennessee's new starter, the new QB1, Nico. Nico's baller, man. That's my boy. Uh, uh, I mean, when he was a young guy, he was a baller. I mean, now he's growing. I mean, he's still a baller. So uh, just everything he's doing, he's doing it fast. He's doing it great. He's making great decisions. So, I mean, I just love Nico, uh, and he's a great leader. I praise the leadership there, too. Said he was a baller as a backup. Now taking that and running with it and making good decisions as the starter. Disappointed John Campbell didn't play in the ball game. Thought he was leaving, but uh, he's coming back, changing positions, and uh, will be very, very instrumental to this team's success. And uh, he'll need to stay healthy, needs to be available, needs to play. And um, really good hearing him uh, say really good things about uh, Nico. Um, you want those offensive linemen to believe in you, love up on you, protect you. And so far, so good. Looks like that's what's happening. I think the name is pronounced Chase. If I'm mispronouncing it, correct me in the text box. But you sent in a good question from Monroe, Georgia. And we appreciate the text. It comes in asking this. Where is that? Is there any position group on this year's Tennessee football team that you would take right now over the 2022 Tennessee football team, the team that won 11 games, went 10-2 and two in the regular season, won the bowl game, and beat Alabama. Yeah, I said defensive line. I said linebackers. Just 
easily could say those two positions. Um, Can you easily say linebacker right now with the unknown of how some of the young players will perform? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can. Um, I don't know how to really sugarcoat this at all, so I'm not going to try. But you had some distractions in the room, okay? You had some knuckleheads in the room. And you don't have those in the room anymore. That's why it's better. And you, you have a talented group. You have some experience there with Keenan Peely, even though he didn't play uh, Tennessee, but he's played a lot of college football. Uh, and then you have several young players that got their feet wet last year. Jeremiah T. Lander, he was out there. We saw Arian Carter out there. We saw, uh, you know, Heron, young player out there, ha- took his lumps, but also uh, made some plays too. So I would take this linebacker group over the 2022 linebacker group. Um, and then I would take this defensive line as a group over the 2022 defensive line group, too. Um, defensive line's pretty easy to call right now, yeah. right? And With by, James Pierce Jr. as good as he is in the depth. Well, Tim Banks two years ago was not talking about that group potentially being the best in the country. And that's not a knock on the group two years ago. It's a compliment to this year's defensive line. Yeah, Byron Young was an NFL draft pick. Don't get me wrong. But James Pierce is going to be a top ten pick if he continues on the trajectory that he's currently on. So this group is more experienced. This group brought in some explosive, fast twitch athletes that will be looking to make a big jump from their freshman year last year to their sophomore year. And then a guy like Jonathan Jones, not Jonathan Jones, but uh, Joshua Joseph, who was a freshman on that 22 team. I mean, he's going to be a junior this year and will be even better. So, yeah, I mean, defensive line and linebacker, that's, that's that's easy. Okay. What would be next for consideration? Because right now, the question is now, who do you take over 2022? Nico has a ton of potential. We can't right now take Nico over top five yeah, Heisman not. finisher Hendon Hooker, no, right? I can't take Nico over Hendon right now. Mm-mm. This wide receiver group has a lot of talent and potential. And, but and we... I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know if Nico is going to be better than Hendon was in 22. Right. That's a big ask for any quarterback. He was Heck yeah, man. SEC Offensive Player of the Year. Heck yeah. I mean, Nico's first first year starting, I mean, he's great. Right. And he will be great, but will it be this year? I, I'm not expecting him to have a Henry Hooker type of year. Sorry, go ahead. Sure. Can't take this wide receiver group with its potential over the group that produced the Bolitnikoff Award winner. Next question. <laughs> Don't give me that look. I, we're, we're in agreement here. Don't give me that look. Cedric Tillman? <laughs> I know. I know. Who came into the season as a first, second round pick, mm-hmm. got hurt, and still was a high pick. No. Nah. Okay. Mm-mm. Tight ends. Mm-mm. You and I are in agreement there. You got to go with 22. No, nah, I'm Princeton fan? Jacob Warren, that was, that was a nice combination. Guys yep. that did different things, and the staff did a really good job of, of using them together. Now, you know you know who you had at 22 that you don't have this year coming up. He's currently the head coach. Oh, uh, from a coaching standpoint. South Florida. Alex Golish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had, you had Golish who had the ability to use those tight ends because he was a tight ends coach. Right. So you had better personnel at tight end, and you had an offense coordinator that did a really good job of using yep. that personnel. Running backs. No. 22. Okay. 22. All day. Okay. Yeah, all day. Jalen Wright, Jabari Small. They had he had a little young DSAP. I'm taking twenty two. I mean this this group right now, I mean we're we're talking about Yeah, the young Cheetah was not in a big role that year. He played some as a freshman, but not a lot. Yeah, I mean we're we over here talking about the possibility of go, going to the portal. hmm Yeah. Um secondary. Secondary is a little tougher because I don't really know about a lot of unknown. There's excitement about no, Jermon McCoy no, and Ricky no, Gibson, man. what they're going to be this year as sophomores. But it's the great unknown versus 
what you know, but what you think you're still lacking in the 22 secondary. So that's the one that I would probably sit off to the side and not feel comfortable answering yet. Yeah. Yeah. To be decided during the season. Because you can say whatever you want to say about the secondary in 2022. They did enough. I mean, they did a good job against LSU. Good enough job against LSU. Did a good job against Pitt. A good enough job. So, I mean, there's plenty of examples where they did a good enough job. And um, So we only confidently took two position groups from the 24 team over the 2022 team. Defensive right now. line and linebacker. Yeah, right now. But if we're taking two on the defensive side, I mean, that's where you wanted to see more improvement from 2022. It's difficult to take some offensive groups over the one from two years ago when that offense was the best in the nation. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. not necessarily – like if you're trying to equate, okay, well – what does that mean for the team's success this season? That's not necessarily a negative. No, because the competition that this team is going to face this year is different than the competition than the, the team in 22 faced. That's also true. So, like, this this team could have a better record this year, but the competition is different this year versus 22 years. So, I guess only time will tell with any other group besides defensive line and linebackers that we have pointed out. Okay. So defensive line and linebacker. There's your upgrade right from now. the 11-2 2022 and, football team. And I feel strongly about linebackers. I don't know how strongly you feel. I know we both feel strongly about defensive line, but like. Well, I'm, I'm a little iffier there because I still want to see Keenan Pilly stay healthy. And I want to see the young linebackers who have a lot of talent emerge. On the field, I still like Jeremy Banks a lot. I understand your concerns of the accountability aspect. Well, they could have totally been, get that. Well, but Aaron, Aaron Beasley was better. also a really good player. I mean, we just look at the George, we just look at the South Carolina game, mm -hmm. and that stands out. But like, think about all the other games and the whole season of having to deal with not just him. It just wasn't him. Mm -hmm. You had another one. That's no longer here. Juwan Mitchell. Either. Yeah. So. How about if the, we look the, at it from this standpoint, if you said, Josh, which group would you rather coach? I'd rather coach this group. Well, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I just, I just think it carries over on a football field. What you do sometimes is what you do all the time. And there's a carryover. Rarely do you see a player – that carries himself a certain way, in a negative way, off the field, practice field, away from the game field. But then, oh, during the game, man, he's 100% reliable, does everything right, and no issues, never. Like, it's rarely does that happen. So, I just, I just, I just rather take the guys that have the talent that's going to be where you need to be need them to be at all times where you, you know what they're supposed to be doing. And um, I just think we're going to have better results at that position versus the 22 season at that position. Chase, good question. Which position groups right now would we take over the 2022 Tennessee football team? We appreciate it. We continue to invite your texts and calls at 865-656-9900. That's how you can be a part of the show. A lot of Tennessee football talk for you this afternoon as we continue on Josh and Swain. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. NBA News Hornets coach Steve Clifford is stepping down at the end of the season and is expected to take a front office role within the organization. Clifford will coach Charlotte's final seven games of the regular season. Clifford is in his second stint in Charlotte, spending five seasons there before coaching the Magic for three years and returning to the Hornets in 2022. The Hornets are 18 and 57. have already been eliminated from playoff contention. NBA games tonight at 7 o'clock. Hornets host the Trailblazers. Wizards meet the Lakers at 7.30. The Hawks host the Pistons. Celtics meet the Thunder. Nets host the Pacers. At 8 o'clock, the Grizzlies visit the Bucks. The Raptors face the Timberwolves. Pelicans host the Magic. And the Suns welcome the Cavaliers at 10. 
Major League Baseball games today at 3.30. The Red Sox battle the A's. The Yankees meet the Diamondbacks. Phillies host the Reds at 4. The Mets get the Tigers at 7. Cubs host the Rockies at 7.40. Astros host the Blue Jays at 8. Dodgers get the Giants at 10. And on the ice at 7 o'clock, Maple Leafs host the Lightning Devils. Visit the Rangers at 9.30. The Stars host the Oilers. Crack it means the Kings. And the Canucks face the Coyotes at 10. I'm Joel Silverberg. Spring fever is in the air, and that means a lot of people are going to be getting engaged this time of year. If you're going to be one of them, you got to talk to my guy, TK Wheeler, out at TK Wheeler Jewelers first. Hey, this is Heather. TK has been in business for over 40 years in the Oak Ridge community, and that means he knows what to keep in his store because he knows what she's going to love. It doesn't matter if you're just looking for a just-because gift or a special occasion gift or... You're thinking about popping that big question, and you need that perfect ring. The destination, always the same. TK Wheeler Jewelers. He'll sit down with you himself and teach you how to buy a diamond. Yeah, what do all those C's mean? What are certifications? Different things like that. And then really get a dial on what your fiance's taste is. Is she a diamond halo engagement ring gal? Does she love the Diamond Eternity Band? Or what about the classic Diamond Solitaire? When you need the perfect ring, you need the perfect jewelry store. TK Wheeler Jewelers. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-8695. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-8695. That's 800-575-8695. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Win big this month in the Cash Shinko promotion at the Men Gaming Hall. Earn entries daily and be chosen to play in the Friday and Saturday drawings. Just like a game show, drop your discs and watch them bounce down to find your cash prize. Great April showers gift giveaways, too. Check out the mintgaming.com for details. The Mint Gaming Hall, close by on I-75, Williamsburg, Kentucky. Problem gambling? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect, and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories, and we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. The Bed Store, while we'll even tuck you in. If you want a great-looking fence or secure entry gate that will stand the test of time, you need to call Stanley Fencing and Gate. Proudly serving East Tennessee since 2000, Stanley Fencing can customize your fence. Just tell Stanley Fencing your idea, they bring it to life. Offering chain link, vinyl, aluminum, wood fences. They even specialize in secure entry gates to protect your business. For customized fencing and gates backed by a warranty, choose the Stanley Fence family. Call 865-254-3844 or online at stanleyfence.com. This report is sponsored by InvisibleFence.com. Going stir-crazy with your pet? Invisible Fence brand works in any weather so you can stay warm while your dog gets their energy out in the yard. Their local pet experts work with you to create a customized solution tailored to fit your pet. Learn more about how pets like yours gain independence at InvisibleFence.com. Cooler temperatures have arrived behind our cold front, but we're not done with rain chances just yet as we'll see scattered showers and a few downpours beginning to develop as we head through the 
afternoon and evening. It'll be cold enough in the higher elevations that we'll see a little bit of mountaintop snowfall. For the rest of us, we'll see high temperatures around 57. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Jacob Durham. The hottest sports stories of the day broken down to their very core with honest, informed opinions. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Thanks for being with us on Josh and Swain. VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver, Yo. former top 30 overall recruit, Jason Swain, here this afternoon. It sounds good. It sounds real good. I was going to correct you and say top 26, but that, that would be – I'll be, be doing too much if I did that. That would be a little bit much. So thanks for not doing that. You're welcome. So I won't say top 26. You're not going to do that? Not going to do it. Not on air? Nope. Nope. Thanks for tuning in, however you're doing so. We're on 99.1 The Sports Animal. We appreciate everybody in the Tri-Cities area. We had some good Tri-Cities interaction yesterday when we were talking about some of the the good-natured Tennessee sports fan hatred that is directed toward the Virginia Tech Hokies. I think that's more of a regional hatred that exists, but if you're in that if you're in that area, you're around more Virginia Tech fans. There's more give and take. So I think that's, I think that's healthy for college sports. So Absolutely. we appreciate the Tri-Cities interaction on yesterday's Heck show. Heck yeah, man. That's, that's healthy. I remember um, the Battle of Bristol mm-hmm. when Tennessee did whatever they wanted to do versus VTech. And um, it was weird because it was the first time head coach over there. And usually it was Tennessee that has a short end of the stick and – things that go up against Tennessee. But that game it was really against Virginia Tech, man, because they were breaking in a new new coach. Beamer had just retired the year before after help bringing the game together. I mean, he was part of the announcement with him and um, uh, Butch, yeah. It was those two guys they had the, uh, the press conference and stuff. So it was good. Veteran team in Tennessee going up against yeah. a – Piece together team in Virginia Tech. Yep. Uh, I had somebody just a few weeks ago give me a really cool battle at Bristol print. It was a promotional print that was put together. Mm-hmm. Cool graphic design on it. So, yeah, that's that's a fond memory. Uh, that that setting, if you were at the game, depending on where you were, might have been tough to see what was going on. But that's not all it was about. Like where I sat in the press box, couldn't really see what was happening on the field. I used the, the TV screen and binoculars. But that doesn't matter. It was a, a cool setting at Bristol Motor Speed where, where it had been talked about for years. Yep. Remember the years when, when I was producing for John and Jimmy and people would call in and Bruton and Smith would talk about the idea of ah, maybe some, someday it could happen. It didn't seem real. And then it happened. So that's really cool. And Tennessee got the win. Biggest football game ever. Biggest attended or largest attended mm-hmm. game ever. And Tennessee's part of the uh, record book. So that's pretty cool. Evan's tuning in on YouTube, which we appreciate as well. Stop by, like, subscribe to the channel, 99.1 Sports Animal YouTube, saying put the Tennessee offensive line in bubble wrap this spring. They've done a little bit of that. They, they've limited Javante Spragan's activity, and they've done a lot of limitation with Cooper Mays as well at center. You can't limit Lance Hurd. You need to get him out there to practice. Yeah, yeah I mean, he needs to uh, get acclimated. He, he, needs, has to, he needs to understand the, mm-hmm. the tempo, get used to everything, but. Yeah, I mean, for, for all the other guys, my goodness. I mean, no one's really seems like participating. Uh, but it's always been this way. It's always been a time where guys are recovering from all season procedures or it's a time for young players to be able to step up and, and, and be able to prove something to the coaches. So this – Spring is no different than any other spring. A player that I'm sure they would have liked to have had out there is Andre Carrick because he missed a lot of this past season. They have the battle at left guard. I'm sure they would have liked him to have been out there to be a part of it, but mm-hmm. that has not worked out. Yeah, I don't I don't know how much they're waiting on him to figure it out. I don't think they can. 
I mean, can't, if he, if he's, can't wait on anybody. Yeah, if he's there in August and all of a sudden he makes a push and he looks like a different player, that's great for Tennessee. But if not, well, Jackson Lampley came back and he has an opportunity that he's trying to take advantage of as a senior and left guard. You have some young players that are going to push there. Dane Davis is a guy that they know can help them yep. at multiple positions. Mm-hmm. Man, unless, unless you're a freshman, maybe a sophomore, but not a transfer. Like You're transferring to – fill a hole or fill a need that the team currently has. And, like, if you come in and you haven't filled that hole, they can't wait on you anymore, especially if you've been in college three years or four years already. So if he gets healthy and the light turns on and he's durable and productive, then awesome. It's a bonus. Great surprise. But, like, I I just don't think – that they're waiting on him or expecting him to be that guy at, at left guard. I hope he is, though, yeah. I mean, for his sake. But. but the conversation with Andre Carrick and Javante Spragans are two separate conversations. Spragans is a guy where they know exactly what he can do. He mm-hmm. knows everything about the offense. It's about getting making sure he's fully healthy after his knee injury, which was legitimate at the end of yeah. last season. Yeah. When he's healthy, you know what you're going to get. You know what you get from Javante Spragans. You know what you get from Cooper Mays. Tennessee knows how important those players are. They don't know how deep they're going to be, so their absence actually creates opportunity yeah. for others to get reps at center and right guard. Left guard is the one position we don't know for sure what it looks like with the starting line on August 31st. Yeah, I mean, Spragans and Cooper out, it could be a blessing in disguise. And I think ideally you want your starting five to go as much with each other as possible especially when you're breaking in a new quarterback. But the next best thing is to have some of your secondary players getting some meaningful reps with your projected starter at quarterback. Next best scenario. Swain, I've got you number 21 in the ESPN top 100 from Tom Lemming See, for the 2003 class. I, mean, I was being humble. I'm a humble guy. <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah. Team guy, humble guy. Yep. Uh, I'm, but I'm not going to sit here and let you sell yourself short like that. Top 21 still sounds weird, though. Did you did you find a way to go in and edit this? Was there like a, a back page you I'm were able to this, find to I'm log not, in? I'm not that smart. Okay. You know you Tom Lemming? one spot behind Brady Quinn. He was number 20, according to Tom Lemming. You were number 21. You know Tom Lemming is still doing... Still doing it. Like, I met Tom Lemming at the Holiday Inn Hotel right off the bridge in Decatur. And this is when he set me down and, and told me that I was going to be a U.S. Army All-American. I was like, are you... Do you work for the All-American Bowl? <laughs> He's like, nah, but I tell him who to get. I was like, okay, pretty big deal. And um, he... He nailed it, but he's still do, he's still crisscrossing the country, still meeting with prospects. It's it's unreal. It's pretty cool to see someone that have has a passion for recruiting the way he does. He like you hear all these people mention, oh, he's a godfather. He's a Tom Lemon is the godfather of recruiting. Like he he is him, still doing it. Linebacker Lamar Woodley ranks six spots behind Jason Swain. <coughs> Ernie Sims, seven spots behind. Remember defensive back Tom Zabikowski? Eight spots behind. Jarvis Moss, nine spots behind. And Robert Meacham, 12 spots behind Jason Swain. <laughs> Chad Jackson all the way back there at 38. Lindell White, number 39. I mean, the... Brett Smith, number 44. So three of the top 44 overall players were signed by Tennessee at wide receiver based on ESPN's rankings. Chris Leak, number one. Kyle Wright, Greg Olson, top three. That's a pretty good top three. Uh, Reggie Bush, ranked too low. He was number 14. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he probably should have been number one. Probably should have been one, number one. Yeah, what, what's your uh, your story of Reggie Bush at the U.S. Army All-American for the National Player of the Year highlights? Like, what, what's different about him? And then the highlight yeah. tape goes up. Yeah, like my, my high school highlights are ridiculous. And, uh, you know, I had some 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 plays. Um and like for my freshman year on, like I, I did my thing for four years, okay, in high school, and so I was pretty confident in my in my career, 
my package of plays that I made, <laughs> especially against Alabama competition. And we were at a banquet, Gatorade Player of the Year banquet, and um, they show the defensive player, and then they show Reggie Bush, and they announce him as a award winner. And I'm like, Psh, gosh, what makes him so good? <laughs> they turn on his film. It looks like a video game. What he did at Southern Cal, take that and times it by 50 versus worst competition. Like, it was it was ridiculous. His Fresno State stop on a dime, go across the field. He had like every play if he wanted it to be. Every play. He had like 15 of those plays in high school in one game. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was something else. It, it really was. He was a player. We'll come back. So was Jason Swain, number 21 was. in ESPN's. That was a bust, man. I guess I was kind of a bust. <laughs> you look at some of those names below me and what they did and what I didn't do. Thanks a lot, Josh. You're supposed to make me feel better about myself. Now I feel worse. Not a bust. Not a bust. Golly, man. It still is Jason Swain right here on Josh and Swain. Four out of five sports fans listen to Tennessee football talk on the Sports Animal Street. The fifth is an Alabama fan, and he can't listen to anything since the batteries died at his transistor radio in 1981. Smile and save this month with Hiller Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electrical. From now, right now, until April the 30th, take advantage of big savings on home systems. Enjoy up to $1,500 off select new HVAC systems whole home water filtration and descalers, or select new whole home generators. If you've been waiting for the right time to upgrade or replace your systems, you come at the right place at the right time because now is the time. Visit the website, happyhealer.com today for more details. This has been a big announcement. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Is your Moore's battery weak or dead after winter storage? Get your Moore ready for spring lawn maintenance at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right now, purchase any Superstart lawn and garden battery and get a $10 gift card after rebate. Choose Superstart batteries for power, performance, and reliability exclusively at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. Hound Dogs, Knoxville's oldest privately owned UT fan shop, is your one-stop shop for any big orange fan. Hound Dogs has all your ball swag from head to toe, from the backyard to the man cave. New stock items come in every day and items for your little ball fans. Hound Dogs is located on Cedar Bluff at Kingston Pike or online at hdknoxville.com. Join their VIP club and get info on exclusive specials and events. Get your orange on at Hound Dogs. Spring's here, and it's a great time of year. You can smell fresh-cut grass, and everyone's excited to be outside again. It's your year to get that great lawn, and you can do it. And Dickens Turf and Landscape Supply can help. Dickens is now the X-Mark mower dealer for Knoxville, and they're stocked up with a ton of choices for your next zero-turn mower. They have the best seed and fertilizers available and would be glad to coach you to a great lawn. They also carry mulch and pine straw. Dickens Turf and Landscape Supply in Knoxville, Maryville, and coming soon to 620 East Emory Road in Powell. If you're looking to grow your business and generate more customers, connect with Slamdot. Slamdot helps companies grow with effective website design and digital marketing, including SEO, Google Ads, and social media advertising. Slamdot is locally owned and operated. They have been in business for 18 years, helping businesses grow. Slamdot can help you with their in-house team. Get in touch and receive a free consultation. Go to the website. Slamdot.com slash Josh. Phoenix Conversions. You love your home truck, work truck, SUV. You want it tricked out, fixed up, VIP. You need it modified, personalized. To get it like you want, you got to take it to the guys. At Phoenix Conversions. Hands down, no contest. 
I'm Michael Jenkins helping you beat the books with BetQL. Baseball is back, and one of the best series this week has been Toronto visiting Houston. The Blue Jays got no hit on Monday, but bounced back for a 2-1 win over the Astros on Tuesday. Both teams have had a tough time scoring runs early in this season, with Houston scoring more than four just once in their first six games. The BetQL model is on that trend, taking the under tonight between Toronto and Houston. I'm Michael Jenkins. Bet smarter and beat the books with BetQL, and download the BetMGM app today. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal. This is Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. A little trip down memory lane in the last segment. With VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain. I'm Josh bust. Ford. Thanks for reminding me that I'm a bust, Josh. No. I'm not going to allow that to be said on the show. It's not true. You're supposed to be a first-round pick if you are a top 25 player. Where, where are you, number seven? You were six. Is that right on the all-time receptions list at Tennessee until yeah, was, Juwan came along? Mm-hmm, was. It was uh, not until, I think, Gerald Jones and then Juwan. So it was a couple guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Speaking of wide receivers, Stephon Diggs headed to the AFC South. Did you see that news today? The Dude. Buffalo Bills. Paradise. He's in paradise. Are trading Diggs to play with C.J. Stroud and the Houston Texans. So that wide receiver group will include Diggs, Tank Dale. Nico Collins, and Tank Dell. <laughs> and he's in Texas with his brother. Brother plays for the Cowboys. That is right. So. The Bills already needed to find some wide receiver help. Now they really need to find some wide receiver help. Well, they'll they'll, they'll go to the draft for mm-hmm. the deepest receiver group in, in a very, very long time. So they'll probably hit the draft or maybe move up. Um, but this is a good year to replace Diggs if you're the Bills. The Bills will receive a 2025 second-round pick for Diggs, a 2024 sixth-round pick, and a fifth-round pick next year. That is not a big price tag from a draft standpoint. Got to pay him. But – Houston has a rookie quarterback, so they have a, a cheaper quarterback that doesn't take up as much cap. Bills have to deal with some cap issues this offseason, so C.J. Stroud and the Houston Texans. Well, they, got Texas, they got a quarterback on a rookie deal. He'll be entering his second season. Right, right. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I meant to say. I, I got your back. I got yeah, your thank back. You. Thank you. I got your back. I got yeah. your back. Doesn't cost a lot of money, but. A couple of years. Ten, he will. Tennessee yeah. Titans better be ready. That offense is going to be running. That is a problem. And the Titans went out and got Sneed, so they've been trying to upgrade the secondary to help the defense overall. But better be ready because the Houston Texans have turned things around quickly from where the conversation was a couple years ago. Yeah, they're coming. Not going anywhere. That was a major move by the Texans. Yeah, Texans also added Joe Mixon to help at running back. Really so they, they, really good move, too. Mm-hmm. He still has a lot left in the tank. He's done a really good job uh, kind of resurrecting his career from, from OU when he got in trouble. He's been a, for the most part, model citizen there with the Bengals. Okay, yeah. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, and his workload won't be as heavy Mm -mm. with Houston. So that offense, they've got some pieces. They've sent a message to the AFC South. We're going to try to set the pace here moving forward. So Stephon Diggs from the Bills to the Texans. We move on to hour number two on Josh and Swain. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Progressive makes bundling easy and affordable. Get a multi-policy discount by combining your motorcycle, RV, boat, ATV, and more. All your protection in one place. Bundle and save at Progressive.com. For the love of the climb. For the love of the fall. For the love of knowing your kid's laughter is the sweetest music there is. For the love of Tennessee, travel safe. 
Brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development, the Tennessee Association of Broadcasters, and this station. Johnson, our CFO needs some info for the IPO ASAP. No problem, boss. Just search the web. Cumulus Digital has helped our SEO big time. Speak English, Johnson. Search engine optimization. SEO, huh? Hmm, that's A-OK. Cumulus Digital. The team at Kitchen Sales can help you with whatever size project you have on the horizon. Are you thinking about upgrading your master bathroom or kitchen? Do yourself a favor and call the pros at Kitchen Sales first. Hey, this is Heather Harrington, and Kitchen Sales has been in our house twice. First, they created an incredibly beautiful and functional kitchen in our in-law suite. It was really impressive how they used every square inch of a dormer space. Then they gave us the kitchen of our dreams in 2019, maximizing our budget by helping us reuse some of our existing cabinetry and then bringing in new cabinetry on our 11 by 4 foot island and blending it seamlessly. If your job is big or small or your budget is big or small, the place to go is always kitchen sales. They have more selection, they can beat salvage store pricing, and they can go all the way up to a fully custom line. They've got two great locations for you, Hoyt Avenue in downtown just off Cherry Street and in the Town & Country Circle in West Knoxville. And for more information and some amazing before and after photos, you can always find them online at kitchensales.net. This has been a paid advertisement. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Photo offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella... Man, that's under the... BetUS always has your back with... Back to back to back. 125% sign-up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game... Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Frazier, and we're having a gargantuan grand reopening sale at Frazier's Carpet One. Frazier's has just totally renovated our entire store, and we're celebrating by putting everything on sale, whether it's carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl, ceramic, laminate, and more. It's all on sale. Plus, no money down and free financing for 18 months. If you're even thinking about new flooring, now is the time to call Frazier's at 546-4850. Let us come to you first. Let us make it easy. Our brand new showroom is packed to the rafters with inventory, and we need to get it gone. So everything is on sale for our biggest sale ever. Frazier's, Frazier's. It's a gargantuan grand reopening sale from Frazier's Carpet One. It's basketball time in Tennessee. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue in Bearden is the only place to be. 24 TVs, including a 160-inch video wall in the dining room, a game room with billiards, shuffleboard, darts, golden tee, buck hunter, and video poker, and a huge outdoor courtyard perfect for tailgating with beautiful scenery, a covered area, and live music every weekend. You can't lose, unless you don't show up. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue. Follow them on Facebook for daily specials. Union Place Bar and Grill. This must be the place. This is WNML FM Friendsville, WNML AM Knoxville, Cumulus Media Stations, broadcasting worldwide from the Budweiser Studios. We are 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Andrew Perloff with the CBS Sports Minute, sponsored by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Old Trapper, what's your beef? Rainy MVP Joel Embiid returned for the Sixers last night for the first time since January. They beat the Thunder to improve to 27-8 and with Embiid on the floor. Now 76ers fans have hope, which might be the worst thing possible. The Sixers haven't won in the playoffs with a healthy Embiid. It's going to be way tougher as he tries to quickly round into shape. I'm Andrew Perloff. Replace your worn-out brakes and save now on BrakeBest Select. BrakeBest Select Pro are import direct brake pads and rotors only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never-frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave's single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with in-app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave Single, Dave Single, order in the app. Dave Single, Dave Single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamper or March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem at Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Syntec Premium Full Synthetic Motor Oil is formulated for today's engines. Available only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. 
Auto Parts. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts in month-to-month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Hour number two of Josh and Swain is here. Thank you for being with us. You can join us by calling or texting in at 865-656-9900. Braden Gall of 440 Sports will join us one hour from now. We'll talk some college football with him, some Tennessee football with the Vols 10 days away from the orange and white game. will be a, a different orange and white game set up. Only up to 10,000 people will be able to be at the game because of the construction that's happening at ne- uh, Neyland Stadium. But they will also have... All kinds of activities, the big screens outside for people who head to campus to watch it with other Tennessee fans outside the stadium. Yeah, small sacrifice this year for uh, a big payout in the future. A lot of parts of Neyland Stadium needs some loving, and this is the perfect time to do it. So uh, only 10,000 people, but the game will be on TV. And, hey, this is a big weekend for other sports, too. Still get on to Knoxville and uh, treat like a game day. Yeah, uh, you'll have the LSU baseball series. Mm-hmm. You ready for that one? Uh, how's A.J. Russell doing? Well. Is, is he on his Tussin regimen? Because if not, then I, I need him to get on it. Yeah, that, that might not be the only fix. Yeah, Let the Tussin get down in the bone. Let it heal up, heal up those muscles. So that way he's healthy for the LSU series. Uh, Tennessee gets ready to go to Auburn this weekend before hosting LSU next weekend. My goodness, man. Can we? Is, it, is there any way we can play like an Akron or something? You know, SEC football, like you play. You really want to expand the conference, huh? Like, like in SEC football, like you, you play – you play Florida, then you play Georgia, Alabama, and then right in the middle, all right, La Tech. And then you play Texas and, and LSU and, and Auburn. SC baseball, mm-mm. it now, is competition every week. Yeah, now Auburn's record is not very good in SEC play. It is a road trip for Tennessee, for and you can't overlook anybody for, for sure. Uh, but, you know, LSU's record right now is not good. The team, though, has some players, and you can expect them to bring it next weekend. So, yep. yeah, there's a lot for, for Tennessee fans to look forward to in addition to talk around the rest of spring practice and the orange and white game and all the activities that will take place next Saturday. There's a coaching search to follow as well. Uh, it's tradition for Tennessee fans to be checking in on a coaching search. Haven't had it happen as often recently. but It's coach search time in Tennessee. <laughs> If we get to the weekend without a coaching hire, do you get nervous? Nervous? I'm not nervous. Okay, just making sure. I'm not nervous. I mean, there's. I'm sure there's players hitting the portal, getting into the portal. Tennessee has had you know, two players decommit. Um, I know Jewel Spear announced that she was coming back. What is she going to do? But if you get the right person, like all that stuff will play out. There's there's no rush. You want to get the right person. You want to have a sense of urgency. Yeah. But at the same time, there's no rush. You want to make the right hire. I'm with you. Uh, Mike in Lenore City. Josh, I can't believe you would hurt Swain like that. It'll be a tearful ride home in the helicopter. (laughs) Oh, man. We were asked last hour by Chase. Good question. Which position groups would you take for this 2024 team right now over the 22 team? Came up with two, defensive line and linebacker. The secondary conversation was a little tricky. Mm-hmm. There was reason for optimism about a new-look group that is less proven but has a ton of talent. One player that helps bring that optimism is Jermon McCoy. He's a second-year college corner, newcomer to Tennessee. He's a transfer from Morgan State. He looks the part. He looks like a guy that has – And where is he from? He's from Texas. It's the wild card. He was overlooked as a recruit. That's what people need to understand. Mm-hmm. Like, 
<laughs> when I used to travel around the country, this was probably 13, 14 years ago. I mean, from L.A. to New York to Texas, uh, all over. Some of my best times was in Texas. San Antonio, uh, Austin, Dallas, uh, so many great players and athletes. And you can find so many diamonds in the rough in Texas because it is football 24-7. Like we were doing combine events. People were tailgating. Like tailgating for like 707. It was insane. But I ask you that because that matters. You're getting a player that, yeah, he went to Oregon State because maybe the offers were not um, abundant for him coming out of high school. St- still has it in his blood because he's from te- uh, from Texas. He was ranked as a receiver as mm-hmm. a recruit. He talked about that meeting with the media this week. He was ranked the 235th best receiver in the country, the 242nd player in the state of Texas, and just inside the top 1,500 overall. 242nd in the state of Texas. But I think he has outperformed that ranking already in college. He performed well at Oregon State. He transferred out looking for a better opportunity. He had a lot of schools that wanted him after a year in college as compared to where he was going in to college, and he chose Tennessee, and he explained why, meeting with the media, this is newcomer Jermod McCoy. Definitely the coaches, like, they just made me feel like it was home, and, like, they told me what they, they wanted me to come in here and be a pro, practice like a pro, be come in here and be a leader. I just I really liked just everything that they were telling me, and it just um, felt like home. Jermod McCoy, new corner who is projected as a starter for Tennessee opposite Ricky Gibson for the Vols. When you mentioned uh, his ranking coming out of high school, why did you have to hold it in your laugh, Josh? Huh? You think, that, you think that's funny? You think he, I mean, yeah, you're trying his best. You're just laughing at him. Wait, wait. <laughs> are you asking me why I held in my laugh, or are you asking yourself that question? No, I was laughing, for okay. real. Um, 242nd in the state of Texas. Yeah, it's like the – I know Evander Holyfield, he was the best. Oh, that's like that. number one in Wichita, Kansas. Remember the Charlie Steiner Sports Center commercial with yeah. Evander Holyfield? Mm-hmm. Steiner said – Steiner said you're ranked maybe top 30. I'm paraphrasing and botching it. And Holyfield says, in the world? In Georgia. <laughs> yeah, like it, – it, it's, it's funny because – My guess is that Jermod uses that as the chip on his shoulder. It doesn't really matter, man. If you're from Texas, you're from Florida, mm-hmm. you can run – you got a chance, and that's why I'm excited about him because he's a guy that play play receiver, and it's going to help him play corner. I thought about Jonathan Wade when I heard his comments because playing corner, when you understand what a receiver wants to do, you're a better corner. Like, it takes your game to another level. You start understanding splits. You start understanding body weight. Like I can tell the young receivers when it's a young when it's a run or a pass, because when it's a run, they don't put the same weight on their front foot as a pass. Mm-hmm. Pass, oh, they ready to go, man. They they in a track stance. <laughs> they are in the blocks in a pass. In a run, they're more relaxed. And as you get older, you realize you want to make everything look the same. And if you're Jawan Jennings, you want to be in the blocks because this is your time to, to body slam somebody. Like this, this is the best time. This is better than the past. Jawan's tail might be the opposite. Yeah, there were some times like in the run, run game. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to get you. So like, I used to get hyped for a run and play because I'm about to get physical with you because those were are what we used to call body blows. You're not gonna always knock the opponent out with a haymaker, a one hit a quitter. You gotta have those body blows, and those body blows are times in a running game where you can go put them on the ground. You can chuck them a little bit, or you can r- run them off, get them tired, or you can test out certain moves that you know the ball's not coming your way, so you test out moves during a running play that maybe you can use when it is a passing play, what he's, gonna, what he's going to bite on, what he's going to fall for. So McCoy, being a receiver you know, in the past, he can think like one, and that helps him be a really good corner. So to the question of you t- – and we, we said secondary. We can split it up. Corners right now versus two years ago. I don't know what the answer is, but if I were if I were betting on talent, I'm betting on this year's group with McCoy and Gibson 
And who was the, who was the corners last two years? Well, two ago? two years ago, I mean, we were waiting to see. Okay, what, you know, Kamal Haddon. What's he going to be able to do? Okay. All right. Uh, uh, who Warren else? Burrell, who ended up, you know, dealing with injury. Yeah, I, I, this group has a chance to be better. It's just that at that position in the SEC, you don't know until you go out there and see him do it. You don't know. They can look good in practice, mm-hmm. and I, you know, I don't, I don't know how good our receivers are right now. I know we have numbers, but how good are they to really push and challenge our DBs to prepare them for this fall? There's there's guys who look good that run fast and but how really good are they as a group a lot of potential um a lot of athleticism but it's more than that but i think this year's corners have a chance to be to be better than the 22 corners because warren was coming off a really brutal bowl game where he had lost a lot of confidence um Balance injuries. I mean, it was real tough for him. Real tough time for him. So, this group, Ricky Gibson, he's fresh slate. Not a lot of war wounds emotionally, mentally. Warren Burrell was coming off that bad game against Purdue. And then Kamal Hatton was coming in from Juco, uh, still learning everything, battled some some little injuries here and there, hamstring or ankle, or just small stuff. But uh, this group, because of McCoy's experience, I think. Yeah, Danico was still better. trying to find a home for sure. He, he yeah. played well in the Kentucky game, remember, but he was moving around, playing different spots. Yeah, yeah. So I like Ricky Gibson's mentality. I like his length. I know Willie Martinez really looks forward to seeing what he's going to do, and um, Willie has taken some some fair and unfair criticism. And this year is an opportunity for Willie to say, "Shut it, my dudes are out here balling. Take that." Yeah, I didn't remember this. The 22 Alabama game, the starting DBs, because Bur- Burrell had suffered his injury at that point. The starting DBs in that game, Christian Charles, Deshaun Rucker, Trayvon Flowers, who's at safety, Danico Slaughter, and Tamari McDonald. He was the guy there at star. We now that's the, that's we, not Tennessee at full strength personnel-wise. Well, we ended the game with uh, the walk-on plan. Uh, that's right. William Wright was out there yeah, late in the game. 36. He, ma- he made a key play, uh, open field tackle, mm. on that final drive before Alabama's missed field goal. Yeah, so, I mean, you you, you in a better spot. Yeah, you in a better spot now. But you got to go out there and do it, man. got to stay healthy. The, second, the secondary is going to benefit so much from this pass rush because this pass rush – has a chance to, to, to really set some records. Mm-hmm. All right, Swain, so uh, put me on record. Corner, I'm taking this year's group. So an adjustment from the uh, the last hour conversation. We can so, split up position groups. Safety, I'm not ready to say that. Corner, I'll take take this year's corners. Okay. Compared to 2022. Let me think about it. I might, I might jump on there with you. Okay. I might jump on board with you. Uh, Tony in the... Text box, I watched a lot of Oregon State games last year. McCoy is the real deal. He's a ball hawk. That's what that's what we might call him the real McCoy. Too soon, Josh. Too soon. We just lost in Detroit. We just lost in, at the eight mile. This is too soon. It's too soon. Curtis asks, Josh, did you hear that the toilet was stolen from the police station? You gotta be really bold to steal from the police station. When asked if the police had any leads, they said they have nothing to go on. <sighs> That's a good one. 
That's a good one. I had to think about it for a second. I'm going to get some coffee during the break. And then maybe I'll be on board with you with the corners. We'll flush the last 30 seconds. We'll come back, 865-656-9900. It's a good I'm, conversation, comparing personnel from that 2022 team, which was so accomplished. Speaking, speaking of flushing, uh huh. have you ever been the victim of a, what they call that? Not a wet willy, that's, that's something different. What they call it when you put somebody in the toilet and flush it? A swirly? Uh-huh. Have I ever been a victim of that? Yeah. I don't like the implication here. No, I have not, by the way. <laughs> I'm not getting any ideas. I'm just asking. Correction. I am getting ideas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cumulus <laughs> HR department. Let's see if I can get a direct mm. link. All right. I've got an email to type, and then we'll come back. 865-656-9900 if you would like to join us right here on Josh and Swain. The Budweiser Studios are recognized worldwide on the Sports Animal app and online at 991thesportsanimal.com. I might need uh, different kind of service help from Wilson Brothers Plumbing. If you need help at your home, at your business, that could be the conversation here with new construction. Get in touch with Wilson Brothers Plumbing. So if you need help with an issue at your home, it could be something as simple as uh, repairing installing a toilet or a faucet, a fixture, whatever the case might be. Uh, simple to them, probably. Not simple to you. They Call Wilson Brothers Plumbing. They can help. If it's bigger than that, a bathroom or kitchen remodel, if it's an emergency and a big problem that you run into that you need fixed, corrected, get in touch with Wilson Brothers Plumbing. That can, again, apply at your home or at your business. If you need help with pipe installation and repair, if you need plumbing maintenance at your business, Get in touch with Wilson Brothers Plumbing. Search their name on Google. You'll see five-star reviews across the board because Wilson Brothers Plumbing prioritizes customer service and making sure you're taken care of. Call Wilson Brothers at 865-415-1537. Wilson Brothers, the proof is in the plumbing. This has been a big announcement. Elevate your products today with Native Nursery. Now open to contractors and landscapers. We're your one-stop destination, offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape waste for a low flat rate. If you are a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go-to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. 865-315-0123 865-315-0123 and 3473 Louisville Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Sam Hunt, Outskirts Tour 2024. As soon as I get out here on the outskirts. Coming to Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center tomorrow. Sam Hunt, live. We'll have a With special guests, Brett Young. Lily Rose. Stay here. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Grab a house party. Don't miss Sam Hunt live in concert. For over 100 years, Marvin has been helping contractors and homeowners bring their building projects to life. Marvin Windows and Doors will inspire you to create with confidence, value, and distinction. When you choose expertly crafted Marvin products from Hiwassee Window, you have the support you need to make every window and door project a success. Let their professional sales staff, with over 90 years combined experience, help you choose the right product. Find your Marvin Windows and Doors today at Hiwassee Window, 865-675-3690, just off Level Road. Do you need a gym that checks all the boxes? Check out the Y. Free child care while you work out. Top of the line fitness equipment. Group fitness classes with certified trainers. Swimming pools and basketball courts. Nationwide access at thousands of YMCA locations. Family events. Scholarships to neighbors in need. Dedication to community. All of this with no contracts. Join more than a gym. Join the Y. Join online at Y. CAKnoxville.org. Spring is here, and that means it's time to break out the clubs and play some golf. The 2024 East Tennessee Golf Card is on sale now. Go to 991thesportsanimal.com to get yours. Brought to you by Mark Nelson Golf Apparel. For only $159, you can play 18 holes with a card and 14 great courses across East Tennessee. They're broken up into two cards with exceptional courses on each. Courses like Island Point, the Greens 
at Deerfield, Ruggles Ferry, Wild Laurel, Knoxville Municipal, Whittle Springs, Dandridge, Patriot Hills, Clinchview, Woodlake, Three Ridges, Sevierville Country Club, Creekside, and Smoky Mountain Golf Club. Make up this year's golf cards, giving you access to premier courses in the area at unbeatable values. These cards are valued at nearly $350 and can be yours for just $159 each. That's 14 courses broken up onto two cards for just $159 each. Get one, get both, but make sure you don't pay full price to golf this year. Go to 991thesportsanimal.com to get yours. Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. Welcome back into Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us today. A lot of Tennessee football talk on the show today. There's some day baseball going on. Uh, shout out to Garrett Crochet. We talked about him last week. He had the opening day start for the White Sox. He was great. He only gave up one run. He got a loss in the game because his teammates couldn't score a run. So he gave up one run, I think in seven innings, against the Tigers and took the loss. But he was terrific. And then last night shut down the Atlanta Braves. And that offense has been impossible to stop to start the season so until Garrett Crochet. Well, uh, I don't think it's going to count in the standings because it was so cold last night, so I think Major League Baseball is going to avoid the, re- the team result. But Crochet was terrific. I'm joking, but he got the win last night, gave up only one run in six innings. So a VFL has come back from injury and is off to a great start uh, for the White Sox. I mean, he had, he had so much talent. The, the lost season in 2020 was a lost opportunity for him in a Tennessee uniform. For, that team – could have gone on a run that Absolutely. year. They just didn't have a chance to show it, and we yeah. know what they've done since then. But uh, just uh, props to Garrett Crochet. Love to see what he's doing with the White Sox to start out the season. They have one win, and it was last night with him on the mound. It just hit, what, 100 strikeouts. And um, it's a 2-10 start for the White Sox and the Braves today, so the Braves will try to get him back. But, yeah, Crochet has he has so much talent. Are you rooting for him? Are you rooting for the Braves or are you rooting for – Crochet. Well, today, Knoxville native Spencer Strider's on the mound for the Braves, so there is zero reason to be rooting for <laughs> Dominic Leone in the Chicago White Sox. All right. So, no, uh, we're pulling for Spencer. We're pulling for the Braves. That works. Collectively. That works. I know you're a White Sox guy, but I think I'm – if we, if we poll the audience here, I think I'm going to be on the winning side. Of the I game. think you yeah. are. That's <laughs> why I'm keeping my mouth shut. It's fair to say. I have nothing to say about, about that series. I don't want those problems. Angel Reese to the WNBA, by the way. She has made that official. The deadline was looming, and they just lost a couple of nights ago to Iowa. But LSU's Angel Reese officially declaring for the WNBA draft, which Caitlin Clark has already done. There's been a lot of attention on the women's game this season. They put up monster numbers on Monday night in viewership, which we expected. But yes, the numbers sir. were maybe even bigger than people predicted going in. So Angel Reese will leave LSU to go to the WNBA draft, one of the biggest personalities we've seen in the sport really ever, but certainly in recent years. Yeah, she was great for the women's game. Mm -hmm. Um, Whether you loved her, whether you hated her, she still was good for the game. And People had opinions on her, Mm -hmm. which is what the game is looking for. And she's a really good player. They won a national championship last year. You cannot dispute her skills because she was getting busy. She sprung her ankle and played through it, but she was on the perimeter defending, had a steal, finished, and she – when she first got to LSU, it was more about her rebounding. I mean, she was a double-double machine. But her offensive game has improved. And, man, she was the focal point uh, of LSU's offense this year, her getting the ball in the paint and her being able to go get a bucket uh, for her team. So wonder how her personality is going to fare at the next level. But her personality, I think, is, is good for women's basketball because – Eyeballs are on the game, and when you look at the ratings in WNBA you know, and the pay scale, and then you look at the ratings in co- college game and the eyeballs, hopefully some of those eyeballs go to the NBA. It can help those ladies uh, continue to earn more money. 
And Tennessee fans already care about Lady Vols basketball. They have a lot of pride in what the program has done, its mm-hmm. history, Pat Summit, all of that, everything that people already are aware of. Mm-hmm. But I also still think that watching the attention on the women's game on Monday night and seeing LSU, which is within the conference, and seeing Kim Mulkey, which is in competition with Tennessee, and South Carolina and Don Staley, which is a direct competitor of Tennessee, seeing all the attention they are receiving has to add to the motivation for Tennessee to get the Lady Vols back there because Tennessee should rightfully be thinking that should be us getting talked about. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's football. Doesn't mean it's going to get that kind of attention or yeah. resources. But should. compared compared to the competition in women's basketball, Tennessee is going to say, why not us? And yeah. Understandably so. I'm glad the women's game is growing the way it is. I've always been a um, girls basketball fan. Uh, in high school, there was this team in Huntsville – Butler High School, and they had the best team in the country. When I say best team in the country, there's no debate. They was on the cover of a weedy box, and they had all five players go D1. One of those players came here. I think her name was Tashika Moore. She didn't last. But they had one player go to Providence, one player go to Florida, two other players that went D1. Starting five went D1. I witnessed them beat a team 126 to 26. It was that it was that bad, but mm-hmm. I've always been a, a girls basketball fan, and, and now like to see the Caitlin Clarks and the Juju Watkins of the world and the Paige Beckers, uh, that mentality. You know, Sabrina Eskew uh, a couple years ago uh, when she was at Oregon and she was breaking records with triple doubles. Like, I just hope that the people that were drawn to the Caitlin Clark versus Angel Reese rivalry that those people stay. And watch the college game because it's really it's really that good. Tennessee is also as good as it gets when it comes to marketing its athletics programs and its athletes. Mm-hmm. So if there is a branding and promotional opportunity now more than ever with the women's game, don't you think Tennessee can take advantage of that? One hundred percent, one hundred percent, man. I want to go. I want to go get me some baby blue and orange right now. By the way, uh, I think Shams Sharania, mm-hmm. I think that's who had the report that next year at the All-Star Game or All-Star Weekend, they were planning a Steph and Clay versus Sabrina and Clay, Caitlin Clark. Yeah. A three-point shootout. Don't be that way. What you, what's going on over there? Dame. It needs to be Dame. But the Steph. Splash Brothers. They, they, they don't splash as much anymore. <laughs> I understand. They're not splashing the same way, I understand. Josh. It needs to be Dame. Clay's been better recently. Uh, yeah. Splash Brothers, you can market that. <laughs> Steph and Dame. Okay. They don't I'm splash a, as much. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm all for Yeah, Clay was 2 of 8 last night. But he hit uh, 6 of 14 threes the other day against Miami. The other day, how many days was that ago? March 26th. That was last week, Friday. How many Three games? of eight against Orlando. Look, he's he's down. He's not the same player. But I'm just that's my point, man. Dame and Steph. Dame won the three point contest. He's been winning it. He's one, he's the best shooter outside of Steph. They need to do it, and then to take the best two shooters in the WNBA or one that's coming. You take Sabrina. You take Caitlin Clark. You take Dame and Steph. That needs to be the four. If you want to sell tickets, you want ratings, that needs to be the four. Giving me swirlies and flushing an exciting Splash Brothers three-point shootout. That's fine. I would never do that, Josh. 865-656-9900 if you would like to join the show. Uh, question, why have the Lady Balls involved Baby Blue is the question why. So Summit Blue is what it's they always, call it. It's always yeah. been like that. Yeah, It's part of the... Branding and the color scheme. Yeah, it's always been that way. And my brother, who lives in Charlotte, hit me up. Was like, man, I, what? When, when y'all start wearing blue? I didn't know it was blue. Little bro, they've always been some baby blue in the uniforms. You just you just saw the baby blue, baby blue uniforms, and they look they look sweet. But that's that's the branding. That's that's the Lady Vol brand, and it's it not, works. Oh, it definitely works, and it's just not basketball. It's for the entire. 
uh, athletic department for the for the women's. Yeah, Lady Vols athletics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. 865-656-9900. Questions, comments you have for the show. Tennessee football conversation continues as well. Braden Gall in 30 minutes. We have 90 minutes to go on Josh and Swain. I'm Tennessee head football coach Josh Heifel. You get all your ball network programming on 99.1 The Sports Animal. 13 hours of live and local Tennessee coverage every weekday. When it comes to game day, the animal is championship level in breaking down the action. Get your Tennessee football coverage where you get insight unlike any other. No one covers the ball like 99.1 The Sports Animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on The Sports Animal. NBA News Hornets coach Steve Clifford is stepping down at the end of the season and is expected to take a front office role within the organization. Clifford will coach Charlotte's final seven games of the regular season. Clifford is in his second stint in Charlotte, spending five seasons there before coaching the Magic for three years and returning to the Hornets in 2022. The Hornets are 18-57 and have already been eliminated from playoff contention. NBA games tonight at 7 o'clock. Hornets host the Trailblazers. Wizards meet the Lakers at 7.30. The Hawks host the Pistons. Celtics meet the Thunder. Nets host the Pacers. At 8 o'clock, the Grizzlies visit the Bucks. The Raptors face the Timberwolves. Pelicans host the Magic. And the Suns welcome the Cavaliers at 10. Major League Baseball games today at 3.30. The Red Sox battle the A's. The Yankees meet the Diamondbacks. Phillies host the Reds at 4. The Mets get the Tigers at 7. Cubs host the Rockies at 7.40. Astros host the Blue Jays at 8. Dodgers get the Giants at 10. And on the ice at 7 o'clock, Maple Leafs host the Lightning Devils. Visit the Rangers at 9.30. The Stars host the Oilers. Crack it mean the Kings. And the Canucks face the Coyotes at 10. I'm Joel Silverberg. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge Motor Oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. I'm going out with the girls this weekend. Nails, done. Outfit, stunner. And my skin... I know it's going to be glowing because I glammed up my shower routine with new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash. It smells so luxurious and moisturizes deep into my skin with its super rich creamy lather that's bursting with vitamin B3. So my skin glows and my confidence grows. Try new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash for glowing skin in just 14 days. It's time for Knoxville's favorite springtime celebration. Dogwood Arts is back with a full calendar of events for the entire family. Follow the pink lines and explore over 90 miles of blooming dogwood trails and open gardens, a Knoxville tradition since 1955. Hopscotch through Chalk Walk and make memories at the Dogwood Arts Festival with over 100 fine art vendors, live entertainment, and food trucks in World's Fair Park from April 26th through April 28th. Enjoy live music at Southern Skies Music and Whiskey Festival featuring Old Crow Medicine Show, The Dirty Governors, Maggie Rose, and many more. And don't miss our brand new Tennessee Whiskey Experience, where you can sample spirits from across the state. May 11th in World's Fair Park. Make memories you'll never forget at Knoxville's favorite springtime celebration. Presented by ORNL Federal Credit Union. Visit dogwoodarts.com for more details. Brought to you in part by The Sports Animal, proud supporter of Dogwood Arts. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, it's regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged tissue. QC Kinetics, under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Shine Cup. Dr. Shine Cup is a pioneer in the field. Over 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about this exciting option, the revolutionary approach. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation. Call 865-238-4799. Two locations to serve all of Knoxville Clinics and Farragut and Powell. That's 865-238-4799. 865-238-4799. Hi, this is John with ProSource Home Buyers, and I buy houses cash. 
If you have a house and you want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me, 865-500-3711. I pay cash and close as quickly as you'd like. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location. I buy several houses per month, and I want to buy more. I buy inherited houses, divorced houses, behind-in-payment houses. I even buy my tenant won't pay me the rent houses. Do you own a house that is in rough shape and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Great, because I love buying these houses. I buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses, and even foreclosed houses. If you own a house and you want to sell it fast, call me at 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. Thirty-seven eleven. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. We're tracking a chilly afternoon with high temperatures topping out into the mid-50s, but it'll also be very breezy, which will make it feel cooler at times. Scattered showers and downpours will return as we head through the afternoon hours with colder temperatures allowing for a little bit of mountaintop snowfall. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Jacob Durham. No matter where you go, there we are. Stream us anywhere. 99.1 The Sports Animal on the app or website. All fact, no fluff. Honest, credible sports information from two guys that know the facts. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain, thank you for being with us. You all should see the Huntsville Pride. It's oh. taking place here the last few minutes. I would say all that. That's an exaggeration. But uh, looking up the, the Butler High School girls' results, you sold them short, by the way. I did. But you looked at me like, you know, you didn't believe me. They, they were they were ballers, no doubt about it. Why didn't you get more of those players to come up to Tennessee? Lady Vols did fine with talent at the they, time. They, they got one. They got one. Yeah, yeah. She, just, she didn't last – uh, but just a season. Mm-hmm. But think think about if a high school team around here beat another high school team in basketball, a hundred and forty three to twenty six, and then a hundred and forty one to twenty five. There would be outrage, sportsmanship. Oh, where why why they run the score up? You know where I stand on sportsmanship. I'm I'm going to stand up for it. But that's what I witness. Greatest high school basketball team I've ever seen in my life. But I've been a fan of Lady Hoops since then. Jackie asks in the YouTube chat, would Kim Mulkey come to Knoxville? Why would we want Kim Mulkey? Oh, you spun it the other way. I'm not a fan of Kim Mulkey, mm-hmm. but I understand she wins. and But she's home. She left Baylor after winning championships there. And the reason she left there is to go home to Louisiana. She mm-hmm. played – at uh, Louisiana Tech, and so she left there to go home, and she's makes one- a ton of money there. She is the queen of LSU. She does what she wants, and so I, like I know it. I think Don Staley would be more likely before Kim Mulkey. Yeah, and I know like it's it's, I think natural to just write off write off the best of the best, but we gotta learn a lesson from football coaches searches that we've been through over the last couple of years. Like, for some reason, we thought that, okay, we're Tennessee. Well, we can go out and hire Jimbo Fisher. We can go out and hire Dan Mullen. Well, guess what? You can't. You didn't. Mike Gundy told you no twice, told us no twice. Dan Mullen said, no, thank you. Will Muschamp stayed as defensive coordinator at Texas. He said, no, searches. thank you. Yeah. Dave Dorn said no. <laughs> Who's at NC State? Week two in Charlotte, Swain. Tennessee versus Jeff NC State. Jeff Brom said no. Everyone said no to Tennessee. Now, the athletic department was in a different place than it is now. Right. 100%. But we have to understand, if you have a cushy job where you are, you're winning, you're making money, you have a strong legacy, 
why would you want to leave? Why would you want to leave and go somewhere else and start, start all over? It makes zero sense. So for those who are throwing out Don Staley, it makes no sense. It makes no sense for Don Staley to leave South Carolina. It makes no sense for Kim Mulkey to leave LSU. Zero. Zero sense to me. Dave Dorn said no. Is that one circled on the calendar for this fall? Yep. Google Calendar. Apple Calendar. Microsoft Calendar. All the calendars. That was very respectful of you, by the way. All the calendars. No hating on big tech from Swain. All the calendars <laughs> has that game circled. No doubt okay. about it. Okay. So, there's a lot of good coaches out there that could do a great job at Tennessee, not name Kim Mulkey, not name Don Staley. You have a dream candidate? Jason Swain's dream candidate Mm-mm. to coach the Lady Vols. Dream candidate? Like, Swain, you can – well, let's take Don and Kim Mulkey off the, off the board. But Swain gets to wave a magic wand. Does it have to be realistic? Yeah, like – you can't have Brad Stevens, okay? It's not going to be Brad Stevens. It's not going to be Danny Hurley. So I'm not, I'm not saying any human, but anybody that is a coach out there that would be gettable. My answer to that would be Becky Hammond. That's yes. a magic wand. Yeah, that, that, I, I, would, I would probably say her. But, I mean, she, she has she's it also, made. Yeah, she has it made. Mm-hmm. To me, it would seem more likely she's jumping to the NBA. If she were to leave the Aces. That's where she started. She was an assistant with the Spurs. She coached the summer league team to a championship. Mm -hmm. And is now the head coach of the Aces. Mm Mm-hmm. So, no, uh, outside, I guess, Becky Hammond, I don't have a dream candidate. By the way, I love uh, Team Petty still showing up for the segment. The question is about Kim Mulkey. Would she be a possible candidate for the Lady Vols? And Team Petty was still able to work in a... Dig at Dave Doran for week two of the upcoming college football season. I love it. <laughs> it wasn't planned. I was just. I know. I was just naming people that told us no. Team, team Petty called in. Yeah. Joel said we got Team Petty on the line. Yeah, I mean, just. Like, and the I, 2017 search that was connected to Dave Doran, who was on the schedule for this upcoming fall, decided to weigh in. Football program prestigious over mm-hmm. the last 25, 30, 40 years. Lady of all program prestigious. And so, like, when there's a vacancy, you think you could just pick up the phone and call anybody that you want, and then they will say yes. And I'm just saying, like, that's, that's not reality. If you're happy where you are, you're winning, you have a legacy already, why would you want to leave? Tony says Tara Vanderveer, who's been a terrific coach, she's 70, with all, you know, with all due respect, she can keep coaching. I don't know if she's going to take over the program. Is that, uh, is that the dream candidate? Yeah, I think that's in, in oh, okay. the magic wand candidate. Oh, okay. JB from Kingston asked, what about Gino in a magic wand scenario? You, would you also cross him off? From a Sports Talk Radio host standpoint, maybe I would say yes to that because that would be topical. G- but, Gino on his way out, man. He looks disinterested. Yeah, he's, he's, he's closer to retirement. He looks like he's about to retire, man. Mm-hmm. Has a, another Final Four to go, though. Yeah, but he's he getting close. He looks like he's tired of this mess. By the way, part of the story there in UConn versus Iowa is how much Caitlin Clark loved UConn, wanted to go play for the Huskies, and how Gino was not as interested on his side. Oh, so that means we're going to get a uh, Zach Eady <laughs> diss, diss track in the post game, huh? You figured out why I brought it up, huh? Uh-huh, yeah. Caitlin Clark's going to go all... Tupac <laughs> hit him up remix in the postgame when they beat UConn the same way Zach Eady went after Rick Barnes. What kind of person are you, Zach Eady? Go after an innocent man in Rick Barnes. He's a deacon. He mm-hmm. did nothing to you, Zach Eady. He just attacked him. Mm-mm-mm. Sad. Andrew voted for the coach at Grand Canyon. Why? Well. Why? I I would love to know why. Is why a rhetorical question? I mean, I I understand Gino. Mm -hmm. I understand 
you know, Vandegrift. Well, Tara, Tara Vanderveer. Vanderveer. Yeah, I understand her. I understand Kim Mulkey. I'm, I, Grand I, Canyon's I coach is Molly Miller. I understand Don Staley. All like all these people, they've won championships. Mm-hmm. So why Molly Miller? How many championships she, has she won? Well, what's her record? She is a very well thought of coach. What's her record? But her record of championships at Grand Canyon doesn't exist yet she's won a lot of games and she competed at a high level at drury but she hasn't won in the whack yet a championship so so no whack championship no conference championship but just 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 bring her here in the rocky top take over lady balls that's what we're doing hmm okay it's interesting I mean, she's a good coach. She's a good coach. Yeah, and I want to be clear here. She is a good coach. She's 37 years old, and she's won a ton of games. My guess is that she has a very uh, very bright future in the sport. The thing is, we're talking about the Lady Vols coaching position, and I asked if it's rhetorical. Why are people interested? The truth is that a big part of the reason that people are interested is because she's very attractive. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's the reason why some are. Not all, but some. Right, right. Yeah, maybe, and again, her record is maybe, ter- maybe most, but like, is terrific, but she is not. She's not made the NCAA tournament, and she's not won a conference title. Yeah, yeah. Can't give the Lady Balls job to her. Yeah, let's hire Derek Dooley because he got good hair. Now, her record's better than Derek Dooley's. I want to be clear there. Four and eight. <laughs> just saying, man. Four and eight. Just, just, just saying. Just saying. A lot of good coaches out there. Yep. Danny White just has to find the right fit, right fit for Tennessee. It's about fits. Dave Doran shots. <laughs> Corrington Vall says, hey, wave that Team Petty flag proudly, Swain. I think he does. He's Jason Swain. I'm Josh Ward. We continue on Josh and Swain. Hey, this is Chef David Rule. Looking for a barbecue experience like no other? Head on down to Trotter's Barbecue in the heart of historic downtown Sevierville. At Trotter's, we're all about the whole hog. We're talking about slow smoke perfection that's packed with flavor. It's authentic Smoky Mountain barbecue made with locally raised hogs. Open seven days a week from 11 to 8 in historic downtown Sevierville. Check us out at trottersbbq.com to see our mouthwatering menu. Catering at the go packs available? Trotter's Whole Hog Barbecue. A taste of the Smoky Mountains in every bite. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. This morning, I went to the gym for a workout. It was one of those mornings where I was like, I don't know. Uh, went, got a workout in, and every time I go in for a workout, I leave feeling better and glad that I went in and got the workout taken care of. I was talking to somebody yesterday about how movement, getting a workout in, getting your exercise in, whatever your fitness routine ends up being, it makes such a big difference in many aspects of your health and your life. Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center can help with that, with group fitness classes that take place every day, all week long, that come included in your membership. They have everything you need for weight training, for cardio. There's an indoor track when we have those bad weather days. Uh, Right now, we're dealing with a few days that aren't so great. You can still walk, jog, or run indoors at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. They have an indoor swimming pool available 12 months out of the year. Parents, if you need child care, it's complimentary with a family membership, which we enjoy. Plus, no long-term contracts. Kingston Pike right off Pellissippi Parkway. Stop by, tell them the sports animal sent you to Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. This has been a big announcement. Blue Springs Boat Company is having an open house Saturday, April 6th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you're in the market for a Bennington pontoon or tritune or a Regal powerboat, this is the open house you need to attend. Better than boat show pricing with factory rebates from Bennington and Regal. Save thousands. Instant financing on new and pre-owned inventory. Register for door prizes and enjoy food from CJ's Tacos. It's the Blue Springs Boat Company open house this Saturday from 10 to 4. For more information, go to bluespringsboats.com. Sam Hunt, Outskirts Tour 2024. As soon as I get out here on the outskirts. Coming to Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center tomorrow. Sam Hunt, live. We'll have a With special guests, Brett Young and Lily Rose. Stay here. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Don't miss Sam Hunt, live in concert. Palmet Aerospace, where your career takes flight. 
Are you tired of what you're doing and ready for more? Set your future in flight today with Halmet Aerospace in Morristown, one of the area's top employers. And they're hiring up to 100 people right now. You get benefit eligibility on day one with medical, dental, vision, life, and disability, plus 13 paid holidays. Apply online at howmet.com. Several shift options are available. You get a 401k dollar for dollar match and an additional retirement company contribution of 3% of your pay. Start your new career today, over $21 an hour. Howmet's future is moving fast, so they're ready for you today. Help transform the future of aerospace with high performance as we help make quieter, more fuel efficient engines in airplanes and gas turbines. Join the in person hiring fair at 5650 Commerce Boulevard in Morristown on Wednesday, April 10th from 3 until 5 p.m. And Saturday, April 13th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Get your career on the right path today at Howmet Aerospace, where your career takes flight. The A.G. Hines Company, a fourth-generation family business backed by more than 100 years of customer service serving all East Tennessee. That's a century's worth of knowledge in material application. Concrete, masonry, waterproofing, stucco eaves, slate roofing, and manufactured stone veneer. They have you covered with name brands like Nudura, Drive It, and spec mix. No job is too big or too small. They have the expertise to assist in all your residential or commercial construction needs. The A.G. Hines Company, building materials since anyone can remember. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal, we are 99.1 The Sports Animal. We're back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. Text coming in with coaching candidate suggestions. Uh, probably a little more realistic than some of the conversation. Uh, we did get a text for John Gruden. I think it's required probably with any future Tennessee search. Uh, but Mike says the coach at USC, Lindsey Gottlieb, she could be somebody to pay attention to. Multiple Jeff Waltz texts from Louisville. He okay. could be somebody to pay attention to. We say hello to Julie on Josh and Swain. Julie, thank you for calling in. I think you wanted to weigh in on the coaching candidate conversation. Yeah, Julie, thanks for calling. Yes, I think Jeff Waltz would, from Louisville would be an excellent candidate. Uh, of course, he lost his point guard to LSU this past year, and I don't think she played up to the expectations like she played at Louisville under Jeff Waltz. But um, I think he would – be a good fit with our fan base. That's a name that Ron Slay brought up yesterday. Uh, he likes the idea, I believe, yep. of Jeff Waltz at Louisville. So uh, he he's a name that I think is on the radar, at least, to pay attention to, Julie. So I think that's a good suggestion. We appreciate you calling in. Thank you. Yeah, I like Jeff Waltz a lot. And um, you know, poor, poor Haley you know, Van Lith, she she didn't have to be the girl at LSU because she was surrounded by so much talent. I think she knew that when she got into the portal, when she left, like she wanted to go somewhere else where she was an important piece, but not the main piece and have to do everything. It's mm-hmm. kind of like LeBron leaving Cleveland the first time to go to the, to the heat. Yeah. Jeff Wall's record at Louisville includes a five year run where they went to two final fours and three elite eights. That does not include the 20 season where the tournament was canceled, but that team won its conference and was 28 and four and probably would have gone to at least the elite eight that season. So in five consecutive tournaments that took place, two final fours and three elite eights this year, they were bounced in the first round, didn't have as good of a season, but Haley Van Lith's departure, I'm sure was a factor in Jeff Wall's team success this year. Yeah. That, I mean, that would be a home run if Danny were able to pull that off. So the search continues, and I'm sure Danny White will try to make it happen. The coaching hire to replace Kelly Harper as quickly as possible. We're 48 hours in to the search officially since they made the announcement on Monday afternoon. We'll come back for the start of hour number three. We'll get back to our college football discussion with Braden Gall of 440 Sports on Josh and Swain. Step into your perfect fit at New Balance Knoxville. Discover iconic lifestyle shoes like the 574s and 327s, the ultimate blend of retro vibes with modern flair, keeping you looking fresh and feeling fantastic. 
complete your look with the exclusive New Balance apparel collection. From performance shorts tailored to your every run to cozy hoodies. Visit New Balance Knoxville today, located at the Suburban Shopping Center off Kingston Pike, just west of West Town Mall. It's Hoop D Madness here at 99.1, the sports animal. Listen for the cue to call in weekdays, and you could get qualified for the ultimate Hoop D outdoor experience package, including two tickets to the PGA Tour Wells Fargo Championship in Charlotte. The grand prize winner will also score two paddle boards, a sweet outdoor cornhole set, a rugged outdoor cooler, and an outdoor patio umbrella, plus $1,000, all compliments of Hoop D. Refreshing, bright, spiked iced tea. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting and rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our spring savings event, you can buy one window or door and get one 40% off when you buy four or more units. Just text OLD to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text OLD to 200-300 to buy one window or door and get one 40% off. And right now, save an extra $30 off every unit. Hurry, this incredible offer is only in April. Text OLD to 200-300. Text the word OLD to 200-300. OLD to 200-300. International Players Tour, live in Knoxville. Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center, October 27th. With special guest, the head and the heart. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. The brand new album, Ohio Players, is available everywhere April 5th. For more, visit TheBlackKeys.com. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old-fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories. And we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. The Bed Store, while we'll even tuck you in. It's time to transform your old, outdated kitchen into the dream space you and your family want. Kitchen Sales can make those dreams a reality. Kitchen Sales carries the largest selection of fine kitchen and bathroom cabinetry that ranges from a more affordable line all the way up to a fully custom line. See the selection for yourself at one of their two amazing showrooms, Hoyt Avenue, just off Cherry Street, and in the Town & Country Circle near Best Buy. For more information, go to kitchensales.net. Kitchen Sales, Kitchen Sales. Cabinets and countertops, we are the place to shop. Come on down. This is WNML AM Knoxville. WNML FM Friendsville. Streaming worldwide on the Sports Animal app and website. 991 thesportsanimalcom 99.1 The Sports Animal. The station where the balls play. This is Jim Rome with an Odyssey Sports Minute. Bill's Mafia, it's been a minute, so I got to check in on you today. I am definitely curious what your thoughts are about your front office shipping your WR1 to Houston. I'll tell you who's not having a day, Josh Allen. Exactly who is Josh Allen going to throw the football to now? Buffalo, hate to say it, but your window may have just slammed shut. I'm Jim Rome. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. 
good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts in month-to-month -month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Welcome into hour number three of Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. We have one hour to go. Tyler and Will will take over at 3 o'clock on 99.1 The Sports Animal. We also continue in the Tri-Cities area every day on AM640 The Sports Monster. And to begin hour number three, we head to the Mid-State. 440 Sports, Braden Gall joins us now. Braden, we appreciate the time as always. How are you? Doing well. How are you guys doing? Recovered from the weekend yet or, or no? Well, that was part of the discussion at the start of the show is that Monday and Tuesday really, I think, offered kind of a grieving period for Tennessee fans with the end of the basketball season as great as the season was. Mo Monday was kind of the morning period. Tuesday was the celebration of it. And then today we dove a lot into what's happened with spring practice with 10 days to go until the orange-white game for Josh Heupel's team. Yeah, it's golf season, boys. Uh, I, didn't, I don't even know what's happening this weekend. Not paying attention. It's golf season. Uh, no, I look, I, I, I'm glad that it turned quickly, I guess, on Tuesday, it sounds like, to, man, that was a heck of a team, man. Like, the, the wins in the regular season, the way they've produced in the regular season, um, to win the regular season championship, to get to the Elite Eight and play in a game like that, I, I don't know, like, it, it's okay. The Buffalo Bills are always the team that come to mind, um, not with Rick Barnes or Tennessee basketball, but just how things change over time. Uh, I think, as a kid growing up, I viewed the Buffalo Bills as, like, failures, and just thought, oh, I can't believe they could get there four years in a row and lose every single time, and a couple of them in blowout fashion. And now I think in my old middle agedness, I, I look back and I appreciate how much more of an accomplishment that was. So I think things do age well, and I think that's a, a great team um, that should be celebrated historically. I think they just ran into a bad matchup, and I, I think it is what it is. Virginia won the national championship the year after losing as a one seed. Purdue's on a mission. It's a terrible matchup. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Purdue didn't even shoot the basketball that well. So sometimes you just have to tip your cap and be like, oh, the other coach makes millions of dollars and those players are on scholarship too. Is that the new move? If you get a one seed, just go ahead and tank, lose, because you're guaranteed a Final Four trip at least the next year. Virginia won the title, as Braden yeah. mentioned, and Purdue's in the Final Four with a real shot at the national title too. Maybe that's the move. As a one seed, take a dot. Uh I'm not sure how fans would handle that strategy, <laughs> um, just in general. You're probably but right. Yeah. I, I, I mean, UConn is an absolute machine. Like their yeah. their margin for victory over two years in tournament is astonishing. And if they weren't such a machine, then it would be a no brainer pick to for Purdue to win the national championship. So I, I think w hopefully we're in for a Purdue UConn final. I think that's the best two teams in college basketball for most of the year, and they're going to play that way hopefully in the national championship game. But yeah, I mean. Uh, they're, they've been clearly on a mission. And uh, look, maybe I'm sensitive to this because I live in Tennessee. I'm a Tennessee alumni, and I see it happen a lot more in my friend circle and family circle. But, like, the complaining all the time, every time t something bad happens in Tennessee. Like, if you're a fan, referees make mistakes. Like, it's going to happen. It's baked into being a fan of any sport. Somebody's going to call a ball a strike. They're going to call a strike a ball. You're going to – sometimes a, a center's going to push a guy in the back, and it should have been called a foul. It's part of the game. Like, you, you, you know it very early on as a young fan that you're not going to get every call and that by and large officials are doing the best job they can to do the the best job they can and did, did, were there a couple of bad calls sure that's not the reason Tennessee lost the, the basketball game so I think it was a bad matchup they got unlucky they played a pretty good season uh, Dalton Connect played a great game no one else helped him <laughs> no one else supported him and it just is what it is and sometimes the other team is just better and Purdue is you know, it, it, they're both it, UConn and Purdue are just on an absolute mission. And so, I don't know. I had Purdue over Tennessee when I filled out my bracket. I thought Tennessee could absolutely get there and give them a challenge. 
but I wasn't going to pick Tennessee against Purdue. Um, and I don't – they're just – they're a different tier, and that's okay because they've got a rare, rare player and a great coach and a pretty good team. So, Breaking golf, 440 Sports, you mentioned being an uh, alum – you were here when the Lady Vols were competing for championships and winning championships, and Kelly Harper um, removed from her position as, as head coach. What was your overall thoughts on, on that move? Or do you think that's the right move? And uh, what direction you th- do you think Tennessee should go into? Well, I don't have like a list of names or candidates for you. Uh, I don't cover the sport close enough to give you good quality answers on that, but I can tell you a couple of things that I feel, uh, which is that I think Kelly Harper's a pretty good mid-major coach. I think that's what it is. Uh, I, I thought that kind of when she was hired. I think her career has shown us that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think they have to go into the Tennessee, you know, like, you know how, like, Michigan, oh, we got to find a Michigan man to be the yeah. coach at Michigan. we got to find a, a like, I, I just think that's nonsense. Like, find the best coach. And if the best coach happens to be someone with ties to the program or to Pat Summit's history or, and her coaching tree or whatever, great. But otherwise, find the best coach. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know if they did that with, with Coach Harper. That maybe, maybe that's not fair to her in hindsight, of course. But it, you know, I think her resume kind of is what it is. Really good mid-major basketball coach. Probably not an elite Power 5, Power Conference basketball coach. Certainly not to the standards that Tennessee expects to be at. While I am showing my 7- and 5-year-old daughters how popular and how great this sport is, like they want to watch Caitlin Clark. They want to watch Juju Watkins. They want to watch these games. And I want to watch these games. The ratings are showing us that people want to watch these games. And it is a huge opportunity that I don't think Danny White could pass up to get his program back into that conversation because they belong there. They absolutely belong in that group of names. When we say, you know, South Carolina is undefeated and LSU and Kim Mulkey and, you know, Caitlin Clark and UConn and Paige Beckers and go down the list, like Tennessee belongs in that group. And he's got some equity with his with some of the decisions he's made. He's got some equity with Heupel. He's got some equity with Tony Vitello. He's got some equity with the basketball program and the men's team. This was this was the right time to probably strategically make the move to try to push the program to the next level. So I think all of that is the right strategy. Uh, the I, I I could not tell you who's the right candidate for the job. That that's not my uh, that's not my expertise. But I do think it's the right move. Braden Gall is with us from 440 Sports. Braden, for Tennessee football, uh, Josh Heupel at this point has proven he was a good hire by Danny White a few years ago. Now the conversation for Tennessee football entering a 12-team playoff era, I think, is changing a little bit. What can he do? Can they get to the playoff? What can Nico do? I know you talked to Adam Sparks, who does a great job covering Tennessee for the Knoxville New Sentinel here in the last few days. What stands out and what is being talked about with Tennessee? What the Vols are going to try to do, what Nico might be able to do this upcoming season? Yeah, we had about a 45-minute conversation, 440 Sports YouTube page. It's exclusively Tennessee Volunteers Athletics, mostly football. So if you want to come hang out, uh, please jump over to the YouTube page. Give us a subscription. There's lots of good stuff over there uh, for all the teams, all 16 teams in the conference, mostly football. Uh, look, I think there's a there's a lot of things at play right now. Uh, there's an evolution of the coaching staff. There's an evolution of recruiting and talent acquisition. I think most of this, unfortunately, is going to fall on Nico's development shoulders, and I'm not sure it's – about like his physical abilities you're sort of already starting to see some of the leadership and the maturity stuff and how he kind of handles himself with other players during practice i i think what's going to happen is i feel very comfortable and i said this on our show yesterday i feel very comfortable saying that he is going to be the guy (laughs) like he's going to live up to the potential he's going to be a five-star caliber player who's going to be an all-conference sec guy who can lead tennessee to who knows what kind of heights the question is when and how long does it take him to get there? How many games does it take him to get there? And seeing off the field or sort of like on the practice field maturity, leadership in the locker room, the way Hendon Hooker would be a coach on the field, uh, mixed with a little bit of Joe Milton's sort of like personality and friendship that he built, the camaraderie that he built. I think Nico seems to be a blend of those two things. The question is, does, he, does, it, all, like, does it all come together fast enough to win some really tough games at Oklahoma, like, like four games into his career? Like I, I just – that could be the difference between them making the playoff or being nine and three is that Oklahoma game. And I I don't know if he's ready. I I don't think anyone knows if he's ready to do all of that and to carry that huge burden. Uh, But I think he will be. The question is, does it happen in 24 or or does it happen in 25? And then the follow-up question is what does the supporting cast look like around him? Uh, The offensive line looks good this year. What about next year? Who knows? 
Uh, defensive line looks like one of the best this year. What about next year? Who knows? So I, I think that's the, ultimately the question is, does he have a better supporting cast this year, meaning he needs to accelerate his growth? Or, it, you know, does Heupel have a bunch of four- and five-star guys ready to go so that the roster is building and developing to 2025? Year five under a coach, you better be recruiting at a pretty high level that you don't need to go to the portal to get offensive linemen, and that may be what Tennessee has to do next season. So long answer, but I think it, I think it mostly is dependent on like what game does it all click for Nico, and I, that's a lot of pressure to put on one young player, but that's kind of how I feel. Braden, before you go, do you have any way too early thoughts on week two? Tennessee will play NC State in Charlotte. That's a game that came up briefly last hour. Uh, there's more time to think about that game, of course, oh. but that, that's a, that's a that's a nice non-conference opponent for Tennessee. I love they dive into I the SEC. Love this game because it's not going to get covered nationally as like a really important big time game. But NC State's got a chance to be an eight or nine, or even all things break right, a ten win team in the ACC. <laughs> they've got a they've got a chance to challenge the top tier in the ACC, which right now is Florida State, Clemson, and Louisville. If you told me NC State was going to be fourth in our rankings when we put out the magazine, the answer is probably yes in the ACC. Uh, They have two quarterbacks that are kind of taking over. Grayson McCall, of course, has been around forever. They're reloaded on defense. you got the whole Dave Doran UT storyline, which is great for us in the media, of course, Uh, largely irrelevant in the game. But mostly it's about two teams that think that they have some upside this year. And the winner of that game is going to be catapulted into a season where they could get to a playoff contention, let's just say, uh, between 8 and 15 in the rankings, right? Which is a great thing to have in the sport now, where we can look at that kind of game, and all of a sudden that kind of game could have playoff implications. Do I think NC State's that good? No. But I think they're, I think they're capable of being much better than people realize. And so... I think it is a we're not really sure what each of these teams is going to be, but the winner is going to have a lot of momentum and the loser is going to have a uh, have to rebuild very quickly in the season. So it's a huge game for both teams, which makes it a really great. I just I wish it was in Raleigh or Knoxville. That's the only problem, of course, is that it's a neutral field. But otherwise, I think it's one of the best non-conference games of the year that no one's talking about. By the way, I should admit something you mentioned there in the middle of your response, because I, I think it's going to be an under-the-radar game that should get more attention that won't ar- around the country, but Swain hasn't forgotten that 2017 coaching search and <laughs> is still holding on to it for the matchup. I, I think that's fine. <laughs> We're in the media. We're allowed to hold grudges and be petty, right? That's the whole point. Yep. Uh, Sw- Swain has a he has a, sw- a C on his shirt for that one. He's captain oh, of Team okay. Petty for the Tennessee <laughs> NC State matchup. <laughs> Braden, did you know in 2018 that NC State and Dave Doran had, um, let's see here, first-round pick in Bradley Chubb, two third-round picks, three fourth-round picks, and a fifth-round pick. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven draft picks and went nine and four, lost three games in the conference in the ACC. Uh, did you know that they've never won ten games in a regular season? I don't. And they won't ever. this year either. <laughs> and it's probably – if it if that happens, it's probably because Tennessee beats them. <laughs> so, uh, no, I think I think the storylines are great, and you don't even need the storylines to make that game good. I I, I think the, again, I think the winner is catapulted into legitimate conference like competition and, and contention, and the loser is probably looking at more of an eight and four, nine and three season. So, I think it's going to be. A, I think it's a really really important game, and nobody's going to really spend much time this summer talking. Like we'll be at SEC media days, and it's not going to be a major game that like the national folks talk about. But I think it will be a really important game for both fans and both teams. Braden, we teased the conversation with Adam Sparks. That or anything else to plug before you go at 440 Sports? Yeah, just tons of draft coverage, of course, for the Tennessee Titans. Uh, obviously, they've spent a bunch of money in free agency, so they're, they've got a chance to be much, much better. So check, come on by the, the 440 Sports YouTube page. Tons of Tennessee Titans coverage. We've got the gold standard covering the Nashville Predators, who are about to enter the NHL playoffs. Nashville SC, club and country. we got basically a show for anything in the state of Tennessee. Uh, and obviously a ton of college football, SEC football live everywhere you get your podcasts. And, of course, we're live uh, every single week over there on the YouTube page, 440 Sports. You can get to me on Twitter.com. Don't type in that X, boys. Uh, Twitter.com is the URL at Braden Gall. Twitter.com at Braden Gall. Follow him there. Tell him we appreciate him coming on, Josh and Swain, which we do. (laughs) Braden, thanks, and we'll talk to you again soon. Always a pleasure, boys. Be good. Braden Gall joining us. You can see the conversation as well on our Sports Animal YouTube channel where we are live right now. Thanks for the internet advice, Braden. Um, Yeah, 
the, the nation may not have Tennessee NC State's game circled, but I do. I'm ready for that one. I'm ready for that one. That's week two. Tennessee will play Chattanooga. I'm aware. The mocks on August 31st. I'm aware. And then Tennessee will go to Charlotte the second week. I like Charlotte a lot, by the way. It's a great town. It's great. It's a great town. I get a chance to hang out with my, my brothers there in Charlotte. That's good. But I would I would rather play those guys in Knoxville. But we'll, we'll play them in North Carolina. We'll play them on their turf. Balls like to recruit the state. North Carolina produces talent. Josh, I remember when uh, Dave Hart was here, mm-hmm. and um, that was the reason he was trying to sell neutral site games. It's 2024. You don't have to play in a state to recruit that state. They have <laughs> this thing called a telephone. I know. And the internet. Yep. <laughs> like, yep. We, we can recruit without playing in the state. It, it, it's been done since the beginning of time in college football. But whatever you want to do to try to sell the game to your fans, do it. Whatever. But I'm not buying that. You will not hear me say this often, but I will admit right now that I was trying to be slick. I know, Josh. (laughs) I would laugh and I would sometimes mock when that was brought up. Oh, recruiting. Well, you don't play it there. You'll still be able to go recruit in North Carolina. I'll, I'll say it. Because they say it. Yeah, yeah. But I always have a side eye like. Which is just, just like the Thursday night openers. You can yeah. say it. Yeah, you want, you want no, money or you not, want the attention. Yeah, you're, you're not getting a five star recruit because you played Ball State on the Thursday night opener. Man, you know, I was, you know, I'm a five star from Nashville and I was thinking about going to Alabama LSU, <laughs> but, you know, that, that home game. That was played in Nashville versus Ball State. That's what, that's the game that sold me over the top because I can't <laughs> wait to come to Tennessee and play in games like that. <laughs> when I saw them line up against Bowling Green, that told me everything I needed to see. It wasn't a home game I went to. <laughs> it was a neutral site game that pushed me over the top. <laughs> uh, Tim in the YouTube chat puts in a vote for Lindsey Gottlieb at USC. You went on my crazy – I got a text from someone, and it's it is like it's a crazy candidate. Oh, you want to save it? Yeah, I'll save it. Okay, when we come back, eight six five six five six ninety nine hundred. We handed out a magic wand if anybody wants to use that for a Tennessee Lady Vols coach. While the search continues on, while Denny White does his job to find out who the coach will be for Tennessee, we'll come back eight six five six five six ninety nine hundred on Josh and Swain. Your odds to win 99.1 The Sports Animal's biggest prizes just got better. We now draw one member of our email club, The Jungle, as an instant finalist in contests with a grand prize value over $500. Club members get links to our latest blogs and videos, plus a layout of sports animal programming and the biggest sporting events of the weekend. To make sure you receive our weekly sports animal emails, visit our website at 991thesportsanimal.com and sign up for The Jungle Email Club. When you're preparing for your presentation, what you say matters. Your delivery matters. The quality matters. Your image matters. So trust Image Matters, Knoxville's most respected office technology dealer to create the image you want. Image Matters is locally owned and operated, offering total document output solutions to fit both your needs and budget. From multifunction printers to production printing, backed by customer service that's second to none. To learn how Image Matters can help you, visit imagematters.inc.com or call 865-212-3600. Technology you need, people you trust. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles, with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost, month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 736-6158 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-736-6158. That's 800-736-6158. What do you have to lose? Call 800-736-6158. Again, 800 736 
1-800-636-6158. The mania of March, the fun of spring and patio season are finally here. And if you're looking for the patio place to watch every single game from tip to buzzer, Jaboni's Pizzeria is the spot for you and your crew. In West Knoxville, just across from West Town Mall, Jaboni's Pizzeria has everything you've ever wanted in pizza and even more flavor. Full service Italian, cocktails, big screen TVs, daily specials, and pizza like the Italians like, including a big time 18 inch New York style pizza to come see what the taste is all about with a slice of Long Island at Jaboni's Pizzeria. Hi, this is John with Pro Source Home Buyers, and I buy houses cash. If you have a house and you want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me, 865 500 3711. I pay cash and close as quickly as you'd like. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location. I buy several houses per month, and I want to buy more. I buy inherited houses, divorced houses, behind in payment houses. I even buy my tenant won't pay me the rent houses. Do you own a house that is in rough shape and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Great, because I love buying these houses. I buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses, and even foreclosed houses. If you own a house and you want to sell it fast, call me at 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old-fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect, and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck you in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories and we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. The bed store, while we'll even tuck you in. 99.1 The Sports Animal is always as close as your phone. Download our Sports Animal app and we're there 24-7. This is Coach Josh Heifel. You're listening to Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. You can always go back and listen. You can listen on demand. Thanks to Beatty Chevrolet on Apple, Spotify. We have the WNML app. Whatever podcast platform you prefer, search Josh and Swain. Subscribe, and you can go back and listen anytime. I am uh, assuming Mike in Rossville is listening on delay, on demand maybe, because this was from earlier in the show, but I love the text. Swain hyped for a running play? Who are we listening to next to Joshua J. Ward today? You talked earlier in the show about getting fired up to give somebody the business on a running play. That's the reason. That's the reason. I wasn't fired up to actually go block. I was wanted to go rough up those those DBs, man. You know how I feel about DBs. Those DBs like to talk. I don't like them. I don't like them. So that was the way I can physically assault them without getting arrested. So you hear stories about football players who play defense. Their motivation is I can hit people and not get in trouble. Well, wide receiver, the time you hit someone is during running play. Because during the passing play, they're trying to hit you, especially when you're not looking. It's a good text, good follow-up from Mike in the text box. 865-656-9900. Did you say you had a text, you had a suggestion? What did you have that you teased at the end of the last segment? <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer here. Disclaimer. From Jason Swain. Okay. I am 99.1% sure this will not happen. Okay. Okay. 99.1. I need for people to understand me. Don't go to the message boards putting this in here, in there, saying that I'm reporting that this is going to happen. Don't do that. Okay. Let me log out real quick. 
99.1%? Sure, this will not happen. But what was your question to me? What'd you ask me? Which candidate? Magic wand. Magic wand. If I could give you a magic wand to hire somebody who could be a realistic candidate. So Greg Popovich is not an option here. I don't know how realistic this is, but let me Okay. Let me go to the files and It's realistic ish. Dust we'll off. Except realistic ish. You you've already said ninety nine point one percent chance that it won't happen, which leaves point nine percent that it could, and Lloyd Christmas would jump on those odds given the opportunity. All right, I mean, let me go here and dust off this document. This document right here is an old document. Looks like a petition. Petition says, bring back Bruce. Bruce Pearl. Bring him back to coach the Lady Vols. How out of the world is that? That ain't going to happen. But just imagine that. You saw the way Ken's Parker and Bruce Pearl looking at each other? Imagine that. Here. Again. Ken's Parker, get on the phone. Talk Bruce Pearl into coaching the Lady Vols. I don't know what Steven's going to do. Because he talked a lot of stuff about Tennessee. I don't think he can ever come back. But and Coach Auburn. Yeah, he stayed Auburn. He the head coach there. Bruce Pearl. It would be amazing. Dude, that would set college sports on fire. He would have them back in Final Four contention. Next year. Were you going to say it later? I was going to say within two seasons, but contention maybe next year. That would be. You want to talk about a way to, to finish out what your legacy is going to be? Because that would probably be the final stop for Bruce, right? Probably. Do Danny White to come back to the statue. University of Tennessee, bring the Lady Vols back to national prominence, and win championships, which I think he ultimately would. Dude, dude Danny White would but, walk around campus with a big ring, and people would ask to kiss his ring. Like he would be that popular. He would be the the man if he was able to pull that off. Again, but that's not going to happen. Ninety nine point one percent chance that N- not going that to won't happen. happen. Not, not happen. That's that's probably leaving too much optimism on the table. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But man, that would be crazy. Take someone from the men's game to take over one of the most prestigious programs in college sports history. That would be something else. You, you, get, you got to bring back Bruce for the Lady Balls, huh? Dust off those petitions. Uh, this one I think you would get behind. Maxwell in the YouTube chat. We're live on Sports Animals' YouTube channel where you can watch the show. Put in a vote for Coach Yo from Ole Miss. I like Coach Yo now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she's done enough at Ole Miss to really, like, get the support needed to take over the Lady Balls, But I think with – more resources, she would be amazing. She, early in the season, had to essentially beg the residents of Oxford to come support lady athletics, women athletics. And I just think that was sad. Her teams play hard, and they played Tennessee tough every time they came up to Knoxville. I like Coach Yo a lot. I think I think she's a rock star, but I don't know if she's done enough. You gotta like you gotta be hot, I think, to to get this job or have that success like a Jeff Walls had, even though he's not coming off a final four appearance this year, but he's had plenty of them. His resume is just that strong. Yeah, if if it is Jeff Walls, he would be a terrific choice. Oh, it'd be home run. Uh, we were asked in the text box, wait, so could Lindsey Gottlieb from USC be a package deal with Juju? During the broadcast, USC, UConn, they talked about how Juju wanted to stay home, which is why she picked USC. So it didn't really matter. I don't think who the coach was. She was going to USC. Juju's on commercials. 
She's in L.A. Why would she leave? Why would she leave? That, that does, doesn't make any sense to me. It would seem unlikely. That don't make any sense to me. But. Can Candace make a call there? Uh, you never know. But I wouldn't do it if I was Juju. Mm-mm. Wouldn't do it. At all. But we can dream. Ain't no wrong with dreaming. Dream big. Nothing wrong with that. Brought up Bruce, huh? <laughs> I did. I got a text, I'm telling you. No one no one has brought up Bruce to me, but I got a text early in the show. I was like, you know what? So it wasn't you texting yourself. I, I uh I accused you of using a burner to text our text box earlier. Not gonna read the text, but it was from a Jason with a Y. But you said that wasn't you. Not me. Okay. I do not have an A six five number. I do not. So, nice try, Josh. Nice try. Uh, we were also asked uh, before we wrap up the segment, Mike wondering, is Denny White willing to pay what it's going to take to get a good to great women's basketball coach at Tennessee? I don't think money is going to be an issue here. I did mention what Kim Mulkey makes, but that's that's at a different level. So they've already invested in making a change. Yeah, you can't you – can't, Give Kelly Harper an extension and raise last year, and then let her go, and then go get someone that you pay pennies for. Like yeah, it don't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And for them to wait until April first to make the change, saving themselves what a million dollars. That I think that's a sign that you are going to need that million dollars to go offer a really really good coach that's going to command that type of money. Bob also texted in, Swain, do you have any seats left on your private jet over to Charlotte for the football game in September? I'll pay. I'm going to be driving, man, up those mountains and um, scared on the way back. We'll come back. 865-656-9900 if you would like to be a part of the show on Josh and Swain. To receive breaking news on the Tennessee Vols, text the word Vols to 865-656-9900. That's V-O-L-S to 865-656-9900. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. NBA News Hornets coach Steve Clifford is stepping down at the end of the season and is expected to take a front office role within the organization. Clifford will coach Charlotte's final seven games of the regular season. Clifford is in his second stint in Charlotte, spending five seasons there before coaching the Magic for three years and returning to the Hornets in 2022. The Hornets are 18 and 57. have already been eliminated from playoff contention. NBA games tonight at 7 o'clock. Hornets host the Trailblazers. Wizards meet the Lakers at 7.30. The Hawks host the Pistons. Celtics meet the Thunder. Nets host the Pacers. At 8 o'clock, the Grizzlies visit the Bucks. The Raptors face the Timberwolves. Pelicans host the Magic. And the Suns welcome the Cavaliers at 10. Major League Baseball games today at 3.30. The Red Sox battle the A's. The Yankees meet the Diamondbacks. Phillies host the Reds at 4. The Mets get the Tigers at 7. Cubs host the Rockies at 7.40. Astros host the Blue Jays at 8. Dodgers get the Giants at 10. And on the ice at 7 o'clock, Maple Leafs host the Lightning Devils. Visit the Rangers at 9.30. The Stars host the Oilers. Crack it means the Kings. And the Canucks face the Coyotes at 10. I'm Joel Silverberg. Fellas, if you're feeling different, things are a little off with your energy levels. Maybe... You're tired, grumpy. You've noticed a difference with your motivation and drive. Weight gain, loss of muscle mass. If you are experiencing some of these things right now with you, it may be low testosterone levels. These are signs we need to take, um, pay attention to and make sure that we follow up on and get our levels checked. You can do that with Low T Center. It is a simple blood test. Because of their on-site lab, you're going to get your results back in about 25 minutes. Low T Center, they specialize in treating low testosterone. They've been doing this for years. Most health insurance is accepted. They have affordable and convenient treatment options, including physician-monitored self-inject treatments that will ship right to your house each month. I just got my shipment two days ago right on my front porch. Saving myself, and you can experience this as well, a drive to the center for those weekly visits. Right now, it's just $25 to get your T-level tested. Make your health and quality of life Priority. Go to the website. That's lowtcenter.com to book your appointment online today. 
That's LowTCenter.com. This has been a big announcement. Hi, I'm David Brewster, owner of Aqua Clear Water Systems. The next time you're hauling heavy bottles of water, think, why am I doing this? With an award-winning Connecticut water system from Aqua Clear, I could make my own clean, fresh water. Better than bottled. Give us a call at 865-694-1725 or find us on the web at AquaClearWS.com. Players Tour live in Knoxville, Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center, October 27th. With special guest, the head and the heart. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. The brand new album, Ohio Players, is available everywhere April 5th. For more, visit theblackkeys.com. Hi. This is John with ProSource Home Buyers, and I buy houses cash. If you have a house and you want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me, 865-500-3711. I pay cash and close as quickly as you'd like. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location. I buy several houses per month, and I want to buy more. I buy inherited houses, divorced houses, behind-in-payment houses, I even buy my tenant won't pay me the rent houses. Do you own a house that is in rough shape and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Great, because I love buying these houses. I buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses, and even foreclosed houses. If you own a house and you want to sell it fast, call me at 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. Thirty-seven eleven. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old-fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect, and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories, and we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. The Bed Store, while we'll even tuck you in. This report is sponsored by Tire Rack. Nearly 3,000 teen drivers die in car crashes each year. Tire Rack Street Survival is designed to save lives. The one-day, hands-on driving school gives teens experience in car control through exercises that include emergency braking and skid recovery. Find a class near you at tirerack.com slash survive. Cooler temperatures have arrived behind our cold front, but we're not done with rain chances just yet as we'll see scattered showers and a few downpours beginning to develop as we head through the afternoon and evening. It'll be cold enough in the higher elevations that we'll see a little bit of mountaintop snowfall. For the rest of us, we'll see high temperatures around 57. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Jacob Durham. Josh and Sway on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. You can't hide talent. You can only hope to contain it. Back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Hey, man. Stop. That coffee mug. Oh. You got to turn it around. You see the TriStar? You, yeah, you, man. You don't like it, the it color. Just, it just sit up there. I think it's bad. Just, just red. Yeah. It's like, a TriStar. Yeah, but it was just red for no reason. Now it's a reason why it's red. Red, white, and blue. I, okay, cool, man. All right. All right. You patriotic. That's awesome. Yep. Good, good job, Josh, but still, it's red. Knoxville, you Tennessee. Had turn, you had turned the other way. United States of America. I, but you had turned the other way. Right. And it looked like a Georgia Bulldog mug. Now, Not on a, Swain's watch. Now it's a Tennessee mug. It looks better. 
it's, it's the details, Josh. Details matter. No argument. Just saying, man. Just saying. Good looking out. That's what I'm here for, Josh. Josh, I got your back. VFL and former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain is here. I'm Josh Ward, 865-656-9900. Before we get back to calls in the text box, every day we hand out attaboys and attagirls, and today we hand out an attagirl to Stockton Kings coach Lindsey Harding. This name will become more interest, uh, of more interest to fans listening, I'm sure, because of the topic of Tennessee looking for a Lady Vols coach, that's not why we're bringing her up. We're bringing her up because she's the first woman to win the G League Coach of the Year. Her track record is impressive. She is the former number one overall WNBA draft pick. She led the Kings to a league-best 24-10 and record. Again, this is the men's G League. She's coached in the WNBA uh, but and, of course, played in the league. She is the first woman to win G League Coach of the Year. So an added girl to Lindsay Harding, which we hand out every day thanks to Native Design with its Native Nursery. She's a baller. Born in Mobile, Alabama, went to Duke. We've, we've seen the trend of female assistant coaches in the NBA go lead collegiate programs. Like we've seen it a couple times, and I uh, would not be surprised if she, if she does that, but she certainly deserves an added girl for, for making history. Yep. So uh, a- add her to your list of candidates you would like to see. That would be deserving with her winning G League Coach of the Year. Uh, but a former great player, played at Duke, from Mobile, Alabama, moved born, to Texas. Yep. Yeah, born. Before moving to Houston, Texas. Yep. But our added girl today, Lindsey Harding, the first female G League Coach of the Year. And I said she coached in the WNBA, only played. She has not coached yet in the WNBA very early in her coaching career, which makes it even more impressive. Okay. Kind of like a kind of got a little Don Staley resume. Swain's as, interested. As, as a player. Swain is interested. As a player. Now, Don did coach nine years, nine, ten years at Temple before mm-hmm. going to South Carolina. But, I mean, hey, I mean, she's, still, she's still coaching. So we hand out our Atta Girl today. To Lindsay Harding every day, attaboys and attagirls are handed out thanks to Native Design. With the Native Nursery for Contractors and Landscapers, your one-stop shop for plants, trees, and landscaping materials. That includes boulders, flagstone, mulch, and more. Located at 3473 Louisville Road, just five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Check out nativetn.com. Call 865-310-3256 for Native Design with the Native Nursery. Let's quickly say hello to Earl on Josh and Swain. Earl, good afternoon. Thanks for calling in. What's on your mind today? Hey, guys. So, yeah, I've had trouble not throwing up in my mouth the last couple of days with some of the candidates everybody's been throwing out. But uh, uh, you want to start with uh, Coach Yo? Coach Yo has a worse record than Kelly at Ole Miss and has a worse tournament performance than her. Uh, you know, if we're going to fire a coach like Kelly that – took us, you know, four out of our five seasons, and the one season we didn't was uh, the COVID year where they didn't have the tournament. Pick a coach that she's been six years at Ole Miss, and her best performance in the last three years is a uh, sweet 16 last year and got beat again in the second round this year. So why would you bring somebody like that? we got to have a home run hire if you're going to do better than that. And, you know, and then guess which coach uh, – has uh, lost to MTSU two years in a row by 18 points last year and in the first round of the tournament this year. Who's that? Jeff Walls, the guy you think's a wonderful coach. Hmm? Plus his personality isn't really that great either, so I don't see him being a fit. Well, first of all, I'm going to stand by saying Jeff Walls has done a great job at Louisville. Hold on now. go to multiple Final Fours. He's been, without doing a great look job. Look at his look at his recent record, and guess who recruited most of those players he had in his first years when he was doing so well? Samantha Williams, Tennessee's recruiting coordinator, the Lady Vols recruiting coordinator, who did a great job but no. didn't have the NIL no. funds no, no, no. to I'm compete. Gonna, I'm just going to shut that down. No, he went to the Final yeah. Four two years ago. He went to the Elite Eight was, last year. I'm, he I'm arrived in 2015. He, so, no, right. he, he recruited those players, he coached them, and he got them to the Final Four. And his staff, Samantha of course, Williams but, is the one that built all that before she went to Eastern Kentucky. 
But anyway. Well, okay, he's been there uh, 10 years. He's, he's, on, <laughs> he's on the downhill slide. I mean, maybe. He's I'm not saying he should slide. be the coach, but I'm going to stand by saying that the guy that's been to multiple Final Fours and even more Elite Eights has done a really good job there after 10 years. What, that's, what the that's previous coach did doesn't apply path. seven, eight, nine years into his tenure there. That's, it just, it that's does before not. NIL. It's all before NIL. It's well, all Well, guess changed. what Tennessee has? <laughs> we don't. We oh. didn't. Okay. What, what do you think we have? Tell me, where do you think the money comes from? Where does it come from in the past? What organization? Are you talking about Spire, or are we talking about something else? We're not talking about Spire. Everybody thinks that Spire gave money to women's athletics and women's basketball. They did not. Okay. Well, NIL is a separate ball, subject. It's booster but... club, and they did not. Well, it's not a separate subject. It's about the coaching. If you don't have the money back, how did Kim Mulkey build well, then a championship What you're saying is it doesn't matter who year? they hire. What you're saying is it doesn't matter who they hire. They got to have a good coach, but they also got to have the money back, which they had. Totally agree with that. Yeah, you got you you got to be able to play the game the way the game's played for sure. I agree. You got to have you got to have money to to bring in high school players and and uh, and also retain your really good players. So you have Rakia Jackson come back. I bet she didn't come back for free. Uh, but you also got to be able to go out and attract high school players too. You got to do both of those things. Yeah, Nora, we appreciate the been, call. We're, I may at, have been involved in that, but that's wrong because she got paid less money last year than Alaya for Del Rosario did at LSU as a freshman. So, okay. so she, anyway, so she, that's the problem. So y'all she, remember she play, that when you're into all this free? discussion. Did she play for she free? She didn't play for free. I said she got less money I, than okay. Alaya Del Rosario. She, she didn't play for free. Who was who was coming here until she got out? We got outbid by LSU. I don't disagree with that at all. I'm not disputing that. I'm just simply saying that Rakia Jackson came back, and I'm pretty sure she didn't come back for free. That was what I said. Yeah, Earl, we appreciate yeah. the call. Thank you. We uh, we will come back, but you're eight. You go to the Final Four. That's Man, not credit to the The Coach Yo, when I get, which I stated, mm-hmm. she had to do a little bit more to Ole Miss to get this job. I said that. I said, I like her, but to get this job, she had to do a little bit more on her resume. I said that. Yep. Now, to poo-poo on Jeff Walls, hold on now, man. <laughs> Hold on yeah, and I don't know if he's going to be the coach. Oh, I don't know if he should be, but his record's pretty oh, good. Man, Earl, pretty thank good you again. We mean it. We appreciate the call. Record. We come back for one more segment on Josh and Swain. Come on, Eric. What is the greatest health hack of 2024? Transforming your water by installing an aqua clear water system. This is the easiest one thing you can do for your health. It begins in the shower with aqua clear water. You have healthier and softer skin. No scaly snake legs. Your feet and hands won't be all cracked and busted up, just soft and conditioned. And ladies, your hair will look amazing. And guys, your bald head will be even shinier. And when you taste that delicious ice-cold drinking water, you'll feel safer knowing it's not full of chlorine, forever chemicals, and metals. So let's be safer and healthier this year. The only thing you have to lift is the phone and call us. Or push the keys on the keyboard to sign up at our website, aquaclearws.com. That's aquaclearws.com. Set in the shadows of the Great Smoky Mountains, Three Ridges Golf Course is one of Knoxville's premier public courses. Named one of Golf Digest's best places to play, Three Ridges is a challenge to all ages and skill levels without the high cost of membership. The Pro Shop offers a full line of name brand golf equipment from balls, shoes, to club rentals. Experience Three Ridges, located off the Washington Pike exit of I-640. Treat yourself to a truly exceptional golf experience. Reserve your tee time today, 865-687-4797, or find them at knoxcounty.org. It's Hoop D Madness here at 99.1, the sports animal. Listen for the cue to call in weekdays, and you could get qualified for the ultimate Hoop D outdoor experience package, including two tickets to the PGA Tour Wells Fargo Championship in Charlotte. The grand prize winner will also score two paddle boards, a sweet outdoor cornhole set, a rugged outdoor cooler, and an outdoor patio umbrella, plus $1,000, all compliments of Hoop D. Refreshing, bright, spiked iced tea. Blue Springs Boat Company is having an open house Saturday, April 6th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you're in the market for a Bennington pontoon or tritune or a Regal powerboat, this is the open house you need to attend. Better than boat show pricing with factory rebates from Bennington and Regal. Save thousands. Instant financing on new and pre-owned inventory. Register for door prizes and enjoy food from CJ's Tacos. It's the Blue Springs Boat Company open house this Saturday from 10 to 4. For more information, go to bluespringsboats.com. 
A.G. Hines Company, for more than 100 years, since great-grandfather Albert Hines first opened the doors back in 1920, the best construction companies East Tennessee have used their building materials. But when it comes to your do-it-yourself projects, they're also the best first stop you can make thanks to their prices, selection of tools, and their experience. Visit their century-old business on Hines Street in downtown Knoxville. For four generations, they've been the area's most trusted supplier with building materials and tools. A.G. Hines Company, building materials since anyone can remember. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Frazier with Frazier's Carpet One, and we're having a gargantuan grand reopening sale. Frazier's, 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 I like your style. Carol and I are excited to announce our grand reopening. Frazier's has just renovated our entire flooring showroom and is celebrating with gargantuan savings. Come see Frazier's fabulous new showroom, introducing an entirely new way to buy flooring with cloud-based room visualizers and in-store video imaging. Not to mention gorgeous new displays of carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl, high-density laminate, and more. Plus, no money down and free financing for 18 months. If you're even thinking about new flooring, now is the time to call Frazier's at 546-4850. And we'll come to you with free in-home estimates, free in-home shopping, and free in-home design consultation. Frazier's, Frazier's, Frazier's. I've heard it said that streaming the sports animal has replaced the old one on Netflix and chill. Well, it was me that said that, but I've heard it said. I do spend most evenings alone now that I think about it. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal. Back for the final segment of Josh and Swain. Thanks for hanging out with us today. You can search Josh and Swain to go back and listen to any of our conversations. A lot of football talk on today's show. We'll have more tomorrow as they will scrimmage. Austin Price normally joins on Wednesdays. will join us tomorrow as well to talk football and recruiting. We're going to hit the power poll coming up in just a moment. Also, to just kind of finish up thoughts from Earl, who we appreciate calling in, texted in as well, uh, his, his NIL points. NIL absolutely matters. If you don't have enough, yeah. you're not going to compete with the best. Yeah, so, and, and there are two separate NIL uh, entities here at Tennessee. Right. Um, you have the, the Booster Club. Yeah, and, and it matters. Like, it matters retaining really good talent, getting players from the portal, and getting players from high school. If you're not willing to dole out the NIL deals, right. you're not competing with the top programs in the country or even getting – back to competing against those programs because, again, you're, you're behind those programs. I don't know if you can use prestige mm-hmm. the way Nick Saban was able to use it when he was at Alabama. Right. And also, if uh, if you're of the opinion Jeff Walls would not be a good fit at Tennessee, that he would not be the right choice, perfectly yeah, fine. From that's, a personality standpoint. Right. But, but not from a resume. You're not going to shoot down his record. You can't, you can't do that. His record's true. Yeah. I've heard that he could be hard to get along with. That's different than poo-pooing his record. His yeah. record is really not debatable. Right, it's really it's, it's not spectacular. It's yeah. one of the best in in women's college basketball. Seven eight percent. The uh, the record for Eddie Murphy, pretty darn good too. A happy birthday to Eddie Murphy. We close out with the power poll. You could really turn this into a couple of segments at yeah, least. I mean, top five, top three because of time, but. I'm just going to write off some of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies. I got Coming to America, one of my favorite. I got Beverly Hills Cop, all of them, mm-hmm. my favorite. How about Trading Places? Oh, my goodness. That is a that is a uh, classic. Uh, and then last but not least, there's others, but I'll let you go. But Life. I thought you'd put Life. Yeah, Life is in that at group. At the top. Man. Life is in that group. All of them at the top for me. But. Yeah. This, this is one where I have a – gripe with rotten tomatoes which i love to check out but i also i check out the the official reviews Mm -hmm. and the audience score and this is one where i side with the audience for sure 77 percent from the audience only 52 percent by reviews for life that should be better 77 percent that should be higher too i'm with you uh my top three the way that i wrote them uh trading places i thought dolomite is my name was 
incredible. I loved it. Uh, coming to America at the top. Story. I haven't seen Life in quite some time. I need to go back and watch that soon. It's, it's it, man. Come to America, the second one. Just nothing will top the first one. Nothing. Nothing at all. Happy birthday to Eddie Murphy. Yep. 63. By the way, one other note. We had a ton of people give their suggestions or their thoughts. We had Earl's passionate call last segment about the Lady Vols. We love it. The, the desire to see them back at the top. We've talked about it. It is absolutely still there. Love it. It's a big hire people for care. Danny White, which he knows, which everybody, I think, recognizes. We appreciate you hanging out with us today. We'll see you tomorrow at noon on Josh and Swain.